playing though is this is of course gonna affect things ssg got pretty much all of their maps last time around and kind of won the the map veto lottery so we're gonna go with border and coastline first to be banned cafe again all right interesting choice after seeing how well they played there i gotta imagine they're hoping that they caught some flaws in clubhouse and villa so appropriately the decider is going to be the one that they've now of course these teams haven't played each other in the qualifier but they did play each other once in pro league it was on villa and they drew so i think could not get a more appropriate deciding map so okay clubhouse is a bit 50 50 for tsm i would say uh they have played it twice through this qualifier so far they did lose it uh i think already once and they also lost it once in pro league yeah and they've they've it's not their best map they lost it to reciprocity they I barely, barely lo beat Luminosity yeah. on Clubhouse, like just by one point. And to be fair, their Pro League loss was against Rogue on Cafe. So. Yeah, yeah, so that's fair. So Cafe, uh, you know, mixed okay. bag, we will see. I think that what we've seen from SSG looks really good on Cafe. Well, they're but now at a 4-0. But yeah, TSM were watching that match, so you can expect them to have some counters. They're going to be ready for that Monty. What do you guys think? Uh -huh. Who's going to win? What's going to happen? Polo fans out there, I suppose, but yeah. TSM also. Uh, has shown potential when it's best of threes. Yeah. Between Dreamhack Valencia and the qualifiers. People are calling them a land team. People are calling them a best of three team. It's understandable given the performance. Well, that's the exciting part, right? Is this is for land. So if TSM can pull this off, they prove they do have the best of three. They proved, proved that uh, Dreamhack Valencia, they could play on land. They've just got to do this one last bit of proving, and then they get to do it in Raleigh. No. Well, let's see if they can make that happen. The... Okay, so the first map, Cafe, in my opinion, is going to kind of set the pace for this whole match. Yeah. And by that, I mean, if TSM can manage to take this one, I think that we could see a map number three. But if SSG absolutely stomp TSM on this map, which could happen, yeah. then I do think that we will very likely see uh, a pretty pretty swift one. Yeah, I got to imagine it definitely could happen. Looks like there were, one of the teams might not have been ready, so uh, we may or may not. Uh, it looks like they might be actually ready to go. So the Jackal Band, the first to come out there from SSG against TSM. It's all right, Merc. We forgive you. Yeah. You're back now. Thank you. The Monty Band coming out from TSM. That's a no-brainer. That's, yeah. it's, that's a no-brainer. Um, yeah. I don't think anyone's surprised. No, that, but that's that's a good play. You don't want to have to deal with it at all. And that's one of the advantages of having to see your or getting to see your opponent play first. Not yeah. to mention all the previous VODs. So there was, yeah, w TSM were watching that last match we just we just played. Yeah. Every single one of them, I imagine. And 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that was a, a pretty easy call. Just just get rid of it. Lycan's going to have so, have to have some extra strats because they can't just be doing the exact same things that they did pre previously. Obviously, they can't with the Monty being banned, but also even on their defense, they're going to have to play a little bit differently or it's going to be completely read into by TSM. Of course, executing on that matters, but still... That's where you need those extra strats. They can't have used all of their best stuff against LG, or they might just be kind of run out at this point. TSM could take it. All right. Ooh, is he going to stick that clash? What will he do? He's got 14 seconds to change. There we yeah. go. There it is. Not terribly surprising. I mean, yeah. the clash is useful depending on how you want to play. Yeah. Especially on that top floor, you can do some magical uh, things with the clash in terms of delaying by a uh, piano, but no. It's a risk. Yeah. Interesting that the TSM also going to bring the dokumi that we saw from LG. So both teams wanting to play a little bit similar in terms of roam clear. No jackal, though, as that was banned. Yeah. Probably the right call from Space Station. They were definitely struggling with the jackal in the last match. Yeah. Both teams kind of counter banning what they were dealing with uh, previously or in terms of what the, the other teams might do. So... Good use of the attacker bands. And that's the thing is the defender bands pretty much fixed at this point, mostly between Mira and Echo. It's the attacker bands that tend to be a lot more flexible in the current meta. We see the Capital left unbanned, but also unplayed by TSM so far. That's something that really should be considered on a bar attack with the way Freezer is. Capital is an extremely uh, powerful attack operator. And the fact that he wasn't banned by Space Station means that, yeah, probably a tool that TSM could have brought. They might have just been, uh, you know, playing off their strats right now and not really looking to change up anything last minute. Probably. But maybe once they get warmed up. Yeah, we'll see. Could also be different sites that uh, they choose to bring the capital. Anything, yeah. could ha anything could happen. I'm curious to see how Podroman's going to play out here in place of Crusher for TSM. Playing with the sub, the Grand Finals, obviously not ideal. He really should be pretty used to playing this Thermite role, though. He did it a lot for Dark Zero. Yeah, I mean, okay, so all credit to Pojo. He's, uh, he's a nut. 
and <laughs> and he's got a lot of experience. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's content but, creator versus content creator, if you think about it. Or, I mean, in terms of Bolo and Pojo competing with each other for those those YouTube views. Well, I mean, they're both on the same team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, in, in a way, <laughs> you could say that. Now, if you haven't watched Pojo's Pro Digest, you're missing out. Now, um, in terms of this attack, so far, it's been pretty standard. TSM just setting up a pretty standard attack strategy into Piano. And they're taking their time with it. They're not taking any unnecessary risks. They're droning out everything before they go for the push. This is very, very standard play. It's what you like to see. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for. It's just fun to watch. And oh, that's not as much, but it's okay. Because he only lost five seconds. He shook it off. No. Now, he's going to be cutting off rotation on that east staircase. The white stairs. That's a pretty strong position to hold as the attacking team. You don't want them to be able to retreat as you take Christmas, of course, and push towards that pixel spot. And you also want to make sure that they don't come right up there and catch a flank on the uh, Thatcher or the Thermite. Pokemon's going to open up that wall and nearly die to his own exothermic charge thanks to Rampy's shots through the floor. You can see that there was a long angle opened up by the big bar and those holes that were pre-prepared. Great Valkyrie cam here from Rampy. Rampy had an excellent run on uh, Cafe when he was playing here last, and he's been having a good one so far, but we're only just barely into this match. Two minutes in, in fact. A lot of setup here going on from TSM, but they've taken a lot of damage despite doing some damage to Bosco, and I imagine possibly downing him. Yeah, he's now. Yeah. And he will be, it looks like, possibly picked up as there's no one to secure the kill just yet, but it doesn't seem like TSM cares. Thinking Nade with a shotgun blast, and he'll get two. That's big from Thinking Nade, but he's getting the refrags on Biologic. Bosco has been picked up and is coming back home, but it's too late. Home is lost. Rampy's going to get two for himself. A beautiful double. And it's only Bolo in a one versus two. 20 seconds left for Bolo. The camera giving away his position, but he finds it. He's got the diffuser. This is definitely winnable. He's going to go for a rush, try to get the frags. He doesn't. Downed and finished off by Rampy. SSG salvage around off of Rampy's efforts. Yeah, that was just a massacre in Freezer. The shotgun plays as well, doing very well. But once it started going down from TSM, they were able to execute actually fairly well on a lot of the rest of their attack. But Rampy, not to mention uh, just the play earlier on as well. Nade. Yeah, trying to... Well, no, I mean, uh, Rampy's play from trying to shoot up the angle as well, oh, yeah. almost, yeah, almost yeah. getting the Thermite down again after doing that in the previous match. Yeah, it was two for thinking, three for Rampy, I believe, yeah. and just a really beautiful comeback there. Uh, it should have been a TSM round. Yeah. And those, those kinds of salvaged rounds that we've seen, that's why SSG are here right now. It would be... Uh, it would be their opponents from the previous match, uh, Luminosity, but... Uh, need to locate and defuse bombs. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> SSG, miracle rounds. Yeah. Uh, just like that one. And, uh, well, they're one step closer to uh, their end goal. Yeah. TSM not going to change up their attack lineup despite knowing that they're probably going to be going on Kitchen after seeing that last time. And, of course, because they, they can't be playing on Bar again. And they didn't really show much of a preference for the middle sites. I find it really odd that Bolo decided to go for the frags when he had cocktail control. Yeah. That was the one thing I, uh, that that kind of struck me in that last round. But you can't put that pressure on him to one a one, uh, win a one versus two. Yeah. Like that's that's not an expectation that's realistic to have. And realistically, it's a, it's a combination between the IGL's calls yeah. and then uh, his call personally as well. A lot of times you really just got to be quiet, let them play it the way they want to play it. They either clutch it or they don't. You can't really put a lot of uh, pressure on them. I got to imagine it was probably an individual sort of play in that yeah. situation, but he. Pro I'm guessing he had some kind of information. Hopefully. Probably Rampy's location off of a drone that didn't know where his, uh, where his, opponent, or his other opponent was and yeah. got caught in a crossfire. Really hard to win that one. Definitely can't risk a, a lot of plays like that when you just lack information. We'll see how it does this round, though, is they are going to be able to go on and attack down to the kitchen, and they, and they know where the site's going to be because, like I said, this has been predictable. They just watched the match that just happened. Now they just got to be smart in terms of catching the positions of a lot of these defenders, knowing how they play it. Well, Bosco could get a free kill here as uh, he hasn't been droned out by Bolo. And if Bolo decides to entry to try to clear out downstairs, then, well, he's going to die. But, Ooh. oh, Merc from below takes down. Actually, from above. Wow. Oh, that was a long angle between the rails. Well played. From the drop down all the way to the bottom. Unfortunate for Bosco. He doesn't know he leaves himself exposed to that angle, and he dies. It was all the way from the roof. 
Definitely well played there by Merck, covering his teammate, and as you said, saving Bolo's life. And Bosco's been a real clutch player for SSG, so an early kill on him, not to mention it's the lesion. Great play. Fortunately for Bio, jumping his drone right into that mute jammer there. He could actually try and go for Bosco's body at some point, hack the cams as well, which would definitely help again with the fact that it has the uh, Master Evil Eyes in place. I don't think that would pick up the Mozzie captured drone, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Pre-play C4 here from Fultz. Oh. He's going to open up around it. Trying to bait somebody, I'm guessing. Oh, well no, he's, played. He wants it back. All right. Refund. Fair enough, Fultz. Fair enough. He wants his C4 back. He gets it back. It's going to be extra thermic charge here. Above, actually. Not on the wall. It's on the drop. Not sure if he knows that. No, he does not. No. Poor assumption there from Fultz. And it'll be a successful opening of that drop down. At least he doesn't get punished for it. Phone call is going to go out for eight seconds. This uh, phone call is definitely going to hurt Rampy in the long run as his position is now given away. Thinking Nade gets the uh, leadoff kill for his team. As Achieved goes down, it's going to be less of soft destruction, but his job is effectively done. He already opened up a lot from above. Yeah, not a big loss there, but still, Buck is a formidable foe, and you definitely don't want to lose one if you can help it. The time is dwindling. That's going to be the biggest enemy for TSM. Nice shot from Bolo on the entry. He's going to get one for himself. The shotgun blast from Fultz will get one, but he's refragged by Merc just inside of the freezer. It's all on thinking aid with so little HP. He gets two. Beautiful. Biologic now in a one versus one, but the HP advantage. The smokes are going to cover, but the information in favor of Bandit. What a shot and a trade. Going the favor of thinking, Nate, I suppose. Yeah, goes to the defenders because the diffuser was not planted. Those new rules that came in place. Yeah, were that's right. How to draw, yeah. So uh, round four, space station. Wow. Jeez, a 2-0 leading out here in an incredibly close match so far. Wow. I, I gotta, I gotta say too, the amount of rounds that have come down the initial shotgun plays when the execute goes down happened because of how frantic. A lot of these teams seem to be in terms of the, they're just out of time and they have to push into sight. Shotguns are just dominating those initial sets of kills because you're just pushing into these 90 degree angles somewhat blindly, sometimes through smoke, and shotguns just close range are just going to destroy. Although at the end of that, it was, it was down to two SMGs just... What an interesting trade, though, and well played by Bio. It is, uh, I gotta imagine, disappointing for him that he lost that off of the way the yeah. trade rules work. It's a really uncomfortable feeling. So the trade rules were changed recently. Um, they used to be the it used to be the case that um, if you got a trade, it would just eliminate the round, from my understanding. Like the round would kind of just kind of cease to exist, and the rules in the future rounds would totally change. Yeah. It was really awkward. This is better. Yeah, this is better. It's more understandable. Um, Just to be clear, the way it works is if the diffuse has not been planted, diffusers win. If it has been planted, attackers win. If, yeah. So diffuser down, attack win. Attack no diffuser down. Defense win. Yep. So it goes to thinking aid. And a beautiful clutch from thinking. I got to really highlight his skill there in that round, uh, salvaging the first team. Yeah. That was definitely a difficult play. And the smoke, unfortunately, ended up kind of working against Bio in some ways. Yeah. He might have had a more clear image had he not smoked himself off. We'll see how they go for this mining dining site here. A train was not the best site for them last time, but they did win it the second time. Two miracle rounds oh. from SSG, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's two rounds in a row. TSM should have won. Yeah. But SSG managed to make it happen. You know, I have a feeling this could be the round where T uh, TSM is able to make it work. They just really need to manage their time a little bit better. Yeah, time has definitely been a big factor, but also I think that the, the final felling blow is is a big deal. Um, and yeah, I, I agree with you with your arm waving. Uh, there's a sledge. Yeah. Those breach charges pretty helpful once you get control of Christmas. I mean, it, it's, to be fair, they, they if they don't want... It, the, the sledge can open that too. Breaching charges true. are better, but... I suppose, yeah. But at the same time, yeah, usually you expect to see the sledge. I, like I said, I just finished saying time management was an issue though, so fair enough. You know what, honestly, yeah. That's a, that's a really good point. Time management has been a problem for every team attacking on the cafe. Use whatever utility you have. Yeah, if you have to use the lifeline, use it, but just get it open. Yeah. Better done. Yeah. I say. Chala right. on this maestro has oh, been such a beast before. He's been a uh, force to be uh, to, force to be feared. Downstairs, you've got Bosco holding on to mining. Pressure coming in here from the east repel. Chala feeling that one is is Rampy. Rampy goes down to achieve there. Sledge working out pretty well in his position. Uh-oh, lifeline from Bolo. 
and that's going to allow him to push into bar, but he eats a lesion trap in that process, thinking Nade runs out on east, and oh, a vault, but successful retreat from Chala. How does he get away with that? Huge mistake made by TSM to let Chala retreat to site, and thinking Nade, no less, because he ran out on the east balcony to get the kill onto Achieved. This is surprising. One minute left here, and here we go. The last breaching charge makes a gigantic hole over, over reading, but that's not the site. This flexibility from SSG, especially on their retreats and the jump outs, is actually really working out well for them because it's continuing to make it more difficult time-wise for TSM. That's a nice kill, though. That's going to help Bosco again downed on that lesion. Not as early this time, but that's still a big help on the side execute. And now a man advantage for TSM just time yeah. dwindling. Too aggressive there from Bosco. He had to have known. Oh, some nice shots coming out here from Fultz, but he doesn't get the kill. Thinking Nate also going to eliminate Merc who has been performing in this match thus far. And another one there as it's a down onto Pojo, no, Pojo Man from Thinking Aid. But Bolo contributing here, and he'll get two at the end of the round to secure it finally for TSM. A round that they should have won, that they finally did win. Yeah. I mean, that's to be expected. The third bomb site is definitely the weaker one here for SSG. I do got to wonder, though, if they might want to consider playing reading just because the train defenses don't seem to be as solid, especially since TSM, for, or not TSM, but LG, for example, should have pushed on that last one that we saw and could have easily taken it. It's just, I don't know. I like the bomb site. It has a long history on this map of, uh, of being a pretty good bomb site, but in the current situation, I don't know. Maybe not the play. Maybe reading is definitely the play, just because reading tends to work fairly well if you can defend that top floor. We'll see, though. Of course, they can go back to bar now. As you said, though, two of these, uh, those first two rounds that uh, SSG won were pretty good attacks overall by TSM. Just foiled at the last minute. They are going to bring something a little bit different this time. Instead of Rampy playing the Valkyrie, which I believe he's sixth pick two, going to be bringing the Pulse. He does like to play from below, so that seems appropriate. The way he plays. And I think maybe he's just trying to guarantee that a C4 is not going to be a waste this time, that he's actually going to have the information to back it up. Well, I guess we'll see. He was playing Valkyrie last time, wasn't he? Yeah, and that's what I mean. He went for the C4 and just didn't have the info to really. Ex I mean, yeah, the cameras you weren't in the right camera. place, I guess, but. Exactly. This way you have a mobile sort of camera. Yeah, the, the, the uh, pulse pick could work out really well. One important thing to note here is that IQ has not been getting picked. Just really odd. Maybe that's part of what made Rampy make the choice. It's probably why. Well. And we'll see how that affects the, this, but of course, you know, Valkyrie gets countered by IQ just as much as Pulse does. Just less directly, it's it's, it's her extension of herself, the, the uh, cameras. Downstairs is Rampy, and he will detect Achieved. I believe he was on his heartbeat detector there. Achieved looking for any pressure, and oh, actually Rampy has uh, decided to go elsewhere, so maybe not a detection there. He could go for the run out here quite easily. He spots one on South Rappel. Looks like he's going to. Yeah, he's going to commit full to this run out and be successful. There goes Merc. A really good early pick there for Rampy. He gives away his position, but of course he's just going to run away. And being the three speed that he is, that should be quite easy for him. And that's a Thatcher down too. If they needed that to get the wall open because of the mute jammers, that's going to be a problem. I mean, to be fair, it's hard to say. I didn't really see if the mute jammer's still up, but either way, uh, that's just a big that. pick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, whether it's whether it's the mute. Whether it's the evil eyes, the mute, uh, the uh, the pulse, you know, it's a big pick. Yeah, certainly gonna hurt them, but nonetheless, they still have a lot of gunpowder and utility to make this work. They just need to start getting some picks of their own, or this is again gonna be a time situation. Okay, the ADS saving that uh, that evil eye, and he's gonna use three of his lifeline. Uh, it's a heavy investment from Bolo, but probably the right call. That was a really important yeah. evil eye there. Well, Chal has also been quite the menace from that spot, denying his ability to be as secure there. It helps, and Bio getting another kill with the CZ and actually getting a phone to hack here. That's going to be a big deal now. Yeah. The evil eye destruction may be backfiring a little bit. Well, I mean, it could, but I'd say it pro it's still probably the right call. True, yeah. You know, he didn't expect to be gifted a phone like it that. It works more for the defenders than it does yeah. for the attackers either way. Yeah. So, Bolo peeking onto Heaven here. It's a whole minute for TSM to make this attack happen. They're not feeling very rushed. Okay. Exothermic charge goes off, and now control of Freezer is the next step for TSM, it seems. Well, they've got that open despite the loss of the Thatcher. That's a good play. And I like the way they're actually using this angle against them here, down into the pillars. 
Chala, though, with his peek holes, he's trying to make them guess where he's going to be peeking from. ADS is still doing work. Credit to Bosco. Switching off the Legion, his ADSs have actually been very useful. Thinking they're going to be a very important player here as he's holding onto the white hallway, and uh, if he gets removed, then it's a crossfire that TSM has onto the cocktail play. But oh, what a shot from Bolo! And he's going to go for the push. Achieved will get shut down in that process. Thinking Nade with the SMG not going to be able to do anything, nor with the shotgun. And TSM have full control here. It's just Bosco as he types, tries to take up the white stairs. He's looking for an angle to fight somebody, but he's given away his position now. And he'll be fighting three. Pojoman, the one to get the kill. TSM, another secured round here. So that's two in a row for them. And now we go to 2-2. Two, two. Seems like they've finished warming up. Yeah, it does seem that way. You know, and the, they are the team that does commit. I mean, TSM is a comeback team. Yeah. We've seen that from them. Uh, and also, it seems like they're very good on the frag. So I got to say, SSG tends to be a little bit better on the intel. They tend to be a little bit better on having an idea on the positioning a lot of times of TSM, things like that. But at the same time, when it comes to the frags and it comes to the gunfights, TSM are winning a lot of them. Maybe ones that they shouldn't be even. And it's, it's just... I, you know, they, they tend to be that kind of team, especially with someone like Bolo that comes in from being a heavy ranked player, things like that. Merc's a very good gunner, as, as is achieved. Bio's even been showing up. So you've got a lot of good gun power going on right now, and that's winning a lot of these desperate gunfights towards the end. Sometimes, maybe this is in the first two rounds, it doesn't end up ultimately in TSM's favor. When the chips are down, they're winning shots. Look at these scores here. Thinking Nade and Rampy from that those first few rounds picked up a lot of kills. Outside of that, SSG's been losing a lot of gunfights, and Bosco especially, I, I'm expecting a few more kills from him. He, he's losing a few too many gunfights. Certainly. We've been seeing some nice shots landed by Bolo as, uh, as well on TSM. Definitely something people are always keeping an eye on, I imagine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some of the uh, the keenest eyes on him, of all people. I gotta say though, to anyone out there who's uh, putting a lot of pressure on Bolo and things like that just because of his popularity, um, I think our opinion shared is that he's a he's a pretty good player so far in Pro League. He's definitely shown up uh, off and on, uh, but I'm impressed with his outing so far in terms of uh, I think coming from ranked. The, the problematic stance is that he's going to come in and do as he does normally within you know within rank. And it'll either work or it won't. Right. It, it doesn't. You know, he's, he's doing really great. He's doing really well as, as a player. Yeah. But uh, you just can't be putting so much pressure on him to the point at which you're, like, expecting him to ace every round. That's exactly, just unreasonable. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. so I just wanted it to be clear. Yeah. Definitely share that opinion, though. He's been having a really great showing in Pro League so far. It's very impressive. It just comes straight into it like that as well. Yeah. Not easy. I mean, everyone expected it to happen, but still impressive. <laughs> Literally had to play on his 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure that was probably worth it for him. <laughs> now... TSM have opened up the drop downs and usually, okay, it, there's two minutes left, right? Three, minute round, three minutes in the round, but just to be clear, it usually does take about a minute to 45 seconds or in that region to get to the roof of this building. Rampy is going to punish Merc though, and that's not what you, uh, that's not what you're hoping to happen if you're TSM. He's playing behind the minibar now and he'll get another. Rampy is absolutely on fire. So he puts two on the board, could find a third one. If somebody tries to challenge him, it just seems like Rampy cannot miss right now. That's impressive, too, that he's playing so aggressive. He's been playing downstairs below in the middle floor so often. He just decided to go full aggro this time and play in Christmas, knowing that maybe they take Christmas a little uh, sloppy in terms of droning and making sure they have an idea where people are at. Also, the repelling was maybe just not uh, as on point in terms of watching out for uh, peaks from the windows themselves. So, And the fact that he gets away here, this is important. And Bosco finally picking one up. Yeah, he's on the board, and Rampy's looking for his third. Oh, he's going to get it, but by sheer luck, Achieve goes down in a 4K wow. from Rampy. A flawless round for SSG and a total momentum shifter. Nearly an ace for Rampy. Yeah, if gosh darn it, Bosco. <laughs> Finally, Bosco picks up his first kill, and it's only to steal an ace from Rampy. Yeah, well, uh, very impressive round there from Rampy. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be going to the last defensive round for Space Station. Where are they going to decide to defend? Now, earlier when we had the cafe match, it ended up 3-3 on the half. Certainly could end up going the same way again. They're going to go down to Kitchen, a site that they did win the last time. But again, it was close. Yeah, very narrowly, it was actually a, a clutch out from SSG. Is, I believe it was Thinking Nade, I want to say, or Chala? No, it was Thinking Nade, right? Because Chala was the, the Thermite that almost clutched on the last match. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of in my head. Because I'm thinking he was the, the bandit, you mean, yeah. Yeah. Like he is again. Probably Thinking Nade, yeah. So it was really good... Uh, 
clutch there from Thinking Aid, where he managed to uh, get a 3k at the end, uh, and then t uh, get a trade for uh, a win. Yeah. Because the Diffuser wasn't planted. He's been having a decent match, and Rampy definitely showing up before. And interestingly, Fultz is going to sixth pick onto the Valkyrie this time, and Rampy going to play the Mozzie. Something he's been playing decent on. We'll see, though, if they can pull it off this round. Again, the lineup just not changing all that much coming out here, other than Achieve switching over to the Buck this time. Ten seconds left. Ooh, Mark's drone. Found it. As sneaky as he was. Five not around it. Must have must have turned it, made some noise. Yeah, there's two drones down as well, uh, as you can see from the uh, the dimmed out icons that were there during the prep phase. Yeah, so drone economy is super important here, uh, especially at this level. It means there'll be only eight drones. And uh, Rampy is, of course, going to be delaying <laughs> that a lot. You know, he has actually switched onto the Mozzie off of the Valkyrie, which is interesting considering how well he's been performing with that MPX. Yeah. Thinking Nate also having a really good one, as you can see. Rampy might just like the Roni as well. Chala has yet to show up for uh, for Space Station. Yeah, surprising given how and, well he was playing last time. Yeah, and that's really important because I have to say, I think that that is less Chala playing poorly and much more... Um, his team not necessarily needing him as much. Yes, it's 2-3, yeah. but he just hasn't been... Chala has not been put in a position to get those frags yet. That's what it is. They're not running into him as yeah. much. They're not engaging him. You saw the way Bolo was trying to open up things, but they didn't directly try and contest him all that much. Here comes the phone call. Will there be any punishment? Will there be any capitalization upon that utility use? Or seems not. Straight to voicemail. Yep. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Ooh, nice catch on the pest there. Rampy, though, again, just heating things up. And that's the Sophia down early. Oh, oh, he's looking for another one. And, oh, achieved beautiful flick. Rampy, the top fragger for his team, shut down finally. And that's going to put pressure on the rest of the squad. Well, maybe the switch over from the uh, sledge to the buck worked out. Yeah, it seems so. That was a nice flick there from Achieved and a uh, really important one, a crucial moment for his team. I like that, though. That's something you cannot do with Sledge without using a nade. Or to be able to go through two floors. Or pretty much any other shotgun. At that yeah. distance, almost any other shotgun is going to do very little to nothing. I really like this idea, because there's the idea of playing from above in terms of trying to fight the site down there. We saw, for example, come out from Bosco a lot in the last match. But you can get c 4 You cannot get c 4 very easily in that situation. And Chief finds a second from there. Yeah, it was uh, Thinking Nate who went in for the bandit trick despite having the uh, ceiling above him opened up. That was just a really bad call from Thinking Nade yeah. that is going to punish his team. I'd really like to see more of the way Achieved is playing it because I think it's the smarter way to be playing the site. And Pojo actually finds a kill there on T'Challa. So again, you just talk about T'Challa not being able to play you know, all that well so far and there's finally his chance and loses the gunfight. And Bosco at least alive this time. We're certainly looking down the barrel of a 3-3 right now. Yep. Bosco has been doing well in this match. So he could clutch this out. Fultz gonna have a gonna have to have a really good performance if he wants to uh, assist his team. And he gets pre-fired. Oh. Biologic, an easy kill for him there. He had the information. It's all on Bosco. He'll have to get at least a 4K. He gets one. That's Pojo, the planter. He gets a second. Biologic goes down. This is looking very winnable all of a sudden. There's only 10 seconds left. Lots of lesion traps put up. And the Diffuser is down. Oh, the Retrieval, and it's successful. Merc gonna go for the plant, the nade to cover the cross. Merc's coming out, information here, but bad peak. Achieved wins it out, a 3K, and TSM will take that last round on the first half. So that's two 3-3 three, three halves now for SSG. But looking back, what did SSG come out with? The win on Cafe. So they certainly could take it in the second half. To be fair, that was switched sides. When it was the 3-3 before, they had started on the other half. They had won more of their defensive rounds to, to close it out in the end. Now they don't have that opportunity anymore. They have to attack more successfully to try and take this map. I really like the way that the nade at the end there uh, yeah. from Achieved covered uh, the, the uh, line of sight from Bosco. Yeah. Allowed for the clutch. Smart. On the buck. Really, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was deliberate, but it was really neat how that worked out for sure. Uh, he was, I think, he was using the nade to just cover the rotation primarily and allow for the plan. I'm not sure if they even knew exactly where he was at at that point until the shots came out when they were picking up the diffuser. I like Bosco's plays. We saw him make a smart play before in, trying, in terms of trying to cover the diffuse uh, when he was playing as Legion previously in the previous match when he was laying down in sight. He plays smart when he's in those clutches, but. Just ultimately, he got caught off by the cross and the shots, you know, the, you said the nade covering it and just the good shot there from Achieved. He's definitely doing well in that C8. 
So we talked about this before. A 3-3 favors the defense on Cafe, and now TSM are the ones in the driver's seat as they go on to their defensive half. Certainly could be their map, but it was their map pick. So that would make sense. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that they could easily counter Space Station so directly with that one Montane ban, yeah, definitely really big. Now they have to play differently than they did against LG. I guess to bring out some other strategies. Yeah, again, you, you can assume that Lycan is going to have something else other than a Montane strategy um, for Space Station. So there's options here. Definitely going to have to do something different. They are going to have the Mozzie, though. Something they brought before. Yeah, interesting that TSM are going to opt out of the Mozzie here. So He's still yeah. frequently brought these days. It's, it's especially on, as you mentioned, this particular map. He's good everywhere, man. Mozzie is, is, is good everywhere, but... He's very good on Cafe for sure. There's a lot of bottlenecks for those drones. You can put one past and cover two things. While well, the gridlock coming out, going to cover those stairs. We were talking about earlier how they can cover two sets of stairs pretty easily. And you have one to boot to maybe cover a little bit lower or higher or just one of the particular rotations you want to cut off. Rampy with a nice drone here. This sees a lot of the room. Yeah, that open area really working in the favor of the drones there. IQ from below is going to be able to do a lot of damage. Sees one person on camera, calls that out. Merc, in a safe spot from below, but not overall safe. Oops. Hopefully there's no ADS to help him clear yeah, that out. He's going to he's gonna wait patiently until the call comes out, and it's actually just going to be a lifeline. They'll save the nade. All right. Good use there. Oh, achieved. Early engagement's coming out here, and it's going to be achieved to take down Fultz. Was that through the drone hole? Certainly might have been. That's a very powerful gun. Yeah, it, I believe it must have been through the drone hole because the angle there didn't add up any other way. Uh, I'm entirely sure. But yeah, that's really impressive kill there from Achieved. You don't usually see that happen. But high damage, like you said, on that DMR shotgun. Well, now they've got to work for this plant. They don't have a Thatcher. And there is the bandit set up on all the walls right there. This is, this is going to be tricky. They don't have like a Twitch drone or anything to make this work. They might have to go for a, a bit more of a bar attack and try and win these long angles. No damage done between that long angle exchange and Heaven not being played right this second. Ooh, I like this. This is into Freezer. It's a very dangerous angle to peek because you can be easily dispatched on it yourself. It's a simple shot if you're playing in Freezer as a defender. Wall gets opened up, despite there not being a Thatcher. Nice shots from Rampy, and he'll take down Achieved, who only did a little bit of damage to Rampy. Lifeline to ensure that Heaven is clear. But so little time here for Space Station, and here come the gas canisters to delay this push. What can Space Station really do in this round to get the win? Well, they need to go for the plant. So little time, Chala's gonna try and stick it. Three fires coming out on the default plant spot. Biologic gets the kill on the planter. Rampy gets up to retrieve that diffuser. It's going to have to be beautiful cover from Bosco, and it will be. Thinking made, though, the TK, and the diffuser's down. It's just Rampy, shotgun blast from behind, though, and Pojo Man will clutch out the round. What a beautiful push on the main bar. TSM win their first defense. What a play. Just gunfight after gunfight, deciding who won that round in the TK. That decided SSG lose that round, unfortunately, because that gave them man disadvantage and they could not defend against Pojo's shotgun at that close range. Like I said before, those rounds often coming down to shotgun play at such close range, especially around the freezer. I have a sudden urge to say, he's back, baby. <laughs> yeah, the Poge. Mm -hmm. He's, he's going to certainly make an attempt here because this is very important for his team. As a coach, it certainly makes him look good if he can help his team make it all the way to the Raleigh Major, considering I gotta imagine a lot of pressure on him with the way his team stands in Pro League right now. Yeah. Right now in Pro League, if you're not familiar, TSM are in last place for North America. They've been having an absolutely terrible first half. Yeah. And, uh, well, they gotta change something. But here in the Raleigh qualifiers, they've been having a good run. Yeah, if anyone's going to be pushing for a best of three format change to uh, Pro League, it's going to be this team. Oh, certainly. I mean, a lot of people are, but yeah, yeah TSM definitely wants it. They're a best of three team. Well, so far they're showing it. They are now in the driver's seat advantage one point up here. Looks pretty good so far, but we've got a long way to go. Achieved already taking a bit of damage. Not the best start, probably from an impact nade. A little bit of splash there. Might also have been from a shotgun, opening up some holes. 
not a big deal. Uh -huh. I don't know, that last round, man, whew, almost went the way of uh, the... I almost went the way of Space Station. They were doing a pretty good job defending that plant. Um, Rampy, uh, Rampy just didn't look the right way when he came yeah. off the plant. It's those small things and the frantic gunfights, smoke yeah. everywhere, gun it's just turns into war there at that point. SSG going for the white garage to white stairs attack strategy. Once again, the difference is they don't have a Montaigne. So it's going to be gunfights that are going to be the uh, thing to win this. But I don't know. TSM are well aware of this yeah. strategy. They had to have seen it earlier. There's no way they weren't watching that entire yeah. match. So as soon as they heard the exothermic charge, they know exactly what's going on, and yet still Merc loses to Rampy. You know he's playing that window. You saw it happen every kitchen. That's all he did. That Luminosity tried to do, yeah. That is so confusing. Merc leaving himself exposed. TSM are down a man. Just a, a puzzling choice. It's possible he didn't realize how far his back was exposed, but Maybe. he certainly does now. Yeah. He won't make that mistake a second time. Foltz is going to take down Bolo, and it's oh, it's looking good for Space Station in this round. They've really softened things up. Again, an early pick onto Elysian. Really going to help things out when time ticks down and they start to make a rush into sight. That's goo mines they're not going to have to deal with. I got to imagine there's probably some on site, but those can even be cleared up by Thatcher and none can come to replace them. But TSM, at least trading it back onto Bosco, that's the buck down. Remember how we talked about before how much pressure that buck was putting from above from Bosco, how much it mattered when he was downed? At least they've managed to accomplish that so far. And that's important. Yeah. If they could kill the uh, gridlock next, before those tracks get set up, that'd be great. Yeah, at least some punishment in here. That's really important. But no nades. There's a lot of work you can do with nades on this on this bomb site. A lot of places your nades can find easy targets, and the fact that they just aren't there anymore definitely gonna hurt Space Station on the tight on the take. TSM setting up, doing their best to hold on to prep room. You can see they've actually got a maestro playing in prep. If somebody drones that, it's a free kill. Biologic is very exposed, and he just barely gets away with that cross. Some poor timing from Chala, and uh, Maestro will make it back to site. Oh, what a shot from Thinking Nade. A Chief goes down. So much this ends up being angle play when it starts to become the kitchen fights, too. Yeah, oh, certainly. Yeah, uh, especially considering how open this setup is from TSM. Only 30 seconds left, though. Space Station with a distinct man advantage, but that's going to start dwindling as it goes to a 2-2, thanks to Pojo Man and Biologic. From behind, Foltz doesn't get the down, but Chala will get the finish off kill, and there's Foltz with a second. As Pojo Man eliminated, TSM will lose their kitchen defense, and SSG tie it up again, 4-4. They just had enough map control and the ability to push into sight from the different angles they were playing. TSM just could not defend enough angles at that point. You saw how many times they got caught off guard watching one way and getting shot from another. There was maybe a bit too much manpower left on SSG as well. Of course, there's only so much you can do about it as they enter, and that's often the, the, the failing that we see of kitchen defenses is once the breaches go down, once things are open and they're able to start getting angles, you just end up bunkered down inside the site. Of course, if the buck's left alive, it's even worse, but still, it's a tough spot to be in, and that's why you see it often not work out, and Good example of that last round there. But reading coming out as Attackers we didn't see any reading bomb. defenses last time at all. And now we're finally going to see one coming out from TSM as SSG, of course, again, did not play reading. They played train instead, otherwise known as mining dining, or I guess mining fireplace hall, oddly enough. Ramping things. It's mining dining. Yeah, it's for it's, as far as Because that's not a hallway, that's a room. Attackers yeah, it's weird. Bomb. I don't know. That's what's referred to in the games. Strange choice. Game's wrong. Right? You all tell right. them. So, yeah, it's the first time we've seen, it just feels weird to play right? two maps of Cafe and not have reading play. Especially with how much we've seen Europe play it. Yeah, it's definitely the go-to site for Europe. I mean, so far, I mean, that could change. It's still early in this game's life, or in this map's lifespan. Well, we'll see if they win it. Like I said, uh, they, they really got to be able to do that in the future, and they just, they were not able to win it at all this time outside of the the one time against uh, LG. So for now, I think the future is set on reading. TSM are well set up here. Again, a big part of their defense is going to be that cocktail roam. Bolo's going to have to be an unwavering force over by train, because that also will allow for access into the site. It's not mining, but uh, you still could easily push into A if you take down Bolo early in the round. Yeah, of course they've got to go for the same kind of push from Cigar that they do when they're attacking the bar. And they've still got to deal with Bio playing that, that uh, Maestro. 
long angle across the bar. And it's the co again, it's the cocktail room and it's the no man's land by the big bar. Yeah. It's just, there's so little you can do about it as a, an attacker other than just winning your long angle fights. And you have to win them when you don't know when they're about, you're going to be allowed to take them. It's, it's a so tricky hard. thing. It's so hard to push up yellow stairs and just take it from behind, right? Yeah. Yellow stairs? Or not yellow stairs. <laughs> yellow stairs. <laughs> Think of it. Uh, white stairs is what I meant. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it is. You're absolutely right. Because uh, white stairs, you got me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> white stairs is, uh, especially after they change the railing, yeah. super easy to just hold with a shotgun Yeah. as a defender. Uh, okay, so early down here under Fultz, and he'll be finished off. Headshot for Merc. Charlie gets the refrag, though, because Merc extends to get that kill. Not too bad here for either team, as there's still plenty of time left to make adjustments. But SSG have managed to open up the freezer wall, which is pretty big. Oh, no, oh. Rampy. Oh, no. Double whiffs. And, you know, he's been laying his shots all match, so we're just going to pretend we didn't see that everyone. Right? He's forgiven. Yeah. Out of your minds. Now, Rampy's pushing up on the big bar. He's got information on this next potential kill, and it's going to be, it looks like, a down. Biological oh. eliminated, and a second for Rampy. He makes up for it in record time. It's just Pojo and Bolo again. This two versus four. Rampy on low HP, sure. But look at the time. Space Station have a buck. They have a position, and they're going to use it. The vertical play coming into factor. Oh, nice use of the tracks there. Make sure there's no rotate up from brown stairs as well. They've got everything on lock here. Yeah, there's a the Meister Evil Eye, but I don't think that's going to do them a ton of good at this point. No. This is just down to time management from SSG. All they need to do is finish this execution on two delayers. Yeah, they had a lot of time, and it's gone away. Now only 20 seconds. That nade is actually going to land and do no damage, wow. surprisingly. He gets away from that. Bolo will be eliminated by Rampy, holding the angle, waiting for the rotation, and thinking nade, just as the plant goes down, will take down Pojo Man. SSG, a well-executed attack there, and they'll put themselves in the lead. I feel like if SSG go to, to Raleigh at this point, it's on the backs of Rampy. Oh, uh, yeah. Rampy, the, the Rampster, has been doing a whole lot in this match. I think Ramp accurately describes his play so far. It's just yeah, he, to the he is the Ramp allowing for his team to ascend. Yeah, it's you know, a good way to put it. It's just that that heaven uh, bunker of sorts that they put down is so hard to counter, and he just runs in and just shoots them both. That right there, if you achieve that, you have already done so much for your team, even if you die, just because that is such a hard thing to fight when there's so many people playing it. So, absolutely agree. Stellar play by him so far. Yeah, you got to hand it to Rampy. He's been having a really, really good match. That's what puts him at 14 already. He's uh, he's, he's nearing his own record. Right, he's, tr he's trying. He's like, I want to set... It was 22, right? Yeah, yeah, on the coastline. And they didn't even win that match. That was a draw, if I remember correctly. Oh, that SSG. Was, that was a first. He's trying to do it on a win this time. He's like, there's no draws in this. I will do it. We'll see, though. Of course, now SSG in the driver's seat, as we like to say, as they are one point ahead here, two away from taking this map. And this was TSM's map pick. So TSM gonna have to come back hard here. They're gonna have to kill Rampy. So it comes down to at this point, possibly also thinking made. Achieve's gonna be bringing out. That Mozzie, you, you were saying earlier, I wonder why they're not bringing the Mozzie. They're gonna correct that now. Achieve's going to be bringing that out after all. Yep, Mozzie's such a powerful operator individually and having him brought out here of course is going to be big for TSM in terms of nothing if nothing else delay I wonder if I, I wonder how, how close Rampy's going to get to the record <laughs> in, this, in this match he's going to try yeah what? he'd have to he have to do some pretty amazing stuff to, to actually beat it there's maybe just not enough rounds left for him to do it I think there is he's got 14 right yeah he's going to but I mean he's going to have to do a lot of work during those rounds to make it happen like, in, in theory, maybe. That's right, he has OT to work with. That was yeah. Whereas that was in a 12-round max situation, this is 15-round max. If we go to OT, yeah. Rampy could br could break the record. Let's see it happen, Rampy. Yeah. It, it, his own record. Yeah. Of yeah. The, high, the most amount of... Uh, Triple kills. dog dare you do it. Yeah, let's see if he can do it. He's not there yet. He's only 14 kills, so he's actually not even that close, all things considered. But uh, he's been having a heavy contribution to this, to this yeah. match. That's for sure. That's the point we were trying to highlight. Yeah. Bosco hasn't maybe as much just yet, but I expect some of these later rounds we'll see him really show up. He just got shut down maybe a little bit early a few too many times. This is some cover here. Ooh, drones getting shot out even. Almost. Allowing, I think those were Mozzie drones. Yes, it was, uh, I believe, a Mozzie drone. Allowing for Fultz to... 
get the electronics from below. IQ is so powerful in this position. You can just go to ham on any kind of electronic device that your opponent has. I believe if it runs on batteries, you'll see it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do goo mines run on batteries? Why? Oh, the cloaks. Yeah, they got yeah, a power something. Yeah, of course. It's not some weird natural chameleon camouflage. Well, here, I have an idea for in terms of balance. Take away the cloak oh, and no. don't let IQ see it. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. Whoa. That's, no, that's radical but interesting idea. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, SSG, control of red stairs, and they're going to take out that evil eye that looms above the big bar. Definitely helps because... Maestro is always such a beast right there, and just giving him additional information certainly doesn't help, but Merc, what a nice angle from below. You definitely would have ex would not have expected to be shot by that as you're running past the hole. No record for you. Sorry, bud. Not this round. Trying his best to uh, shut down Rampy, and the, with that success, it puts pressure on the rest of Rampy's team. SSG now, as a whole, needs to frag out. We will see one, though, for Fultz, who's been doing well so far. Bosco holding a very long angle there, but the gas canister forces him off. Biologic's going to take out Chala. That's really unfortunate for Space Station, as Chala has been a pretty important operator and player so far through this match. But the wall is, I believe, open. Fultz is going to come up from White Stairs and take down Bolo. He's got his pistol out looking for more, but Biologic has been a rock for his team, and he's going to continue doing that. Pojo Man, the last kill, but Biologic, the star of the show, and TSM will take their defense on the top floor once again. The only site, though, that they've managed to win on, and that means we have an even round count. I gotta wonder if you almost might want to consider banning Maestro on this map. You saw what Chala did with Maestro. You saw what uh, Bio's been able to do with Maestro. He's just so hard to uproot, and that's why I gave so much credit to Rampy when he pulled it off. And I gotta be honest, you bring in an IQ every round anyway, and you this is a wide open area on the top floor, you know where those yokai drones are gonna be. Shoot him. Yeah, it's true. Shoot you can him, probably man. shoot them up through uh, a lot of the floor as well. And yeah. That's that's a good point. Maybe we should consider they should consider switching, and especially once uh, the cloak is kind of fixed in uh, yeah. terms of invisibility. I'm, i got to imagine that the reason that Echo is getting banned so much is because his, his cloak is absolutely broken right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and maybe that'll change. Well, I think, I think the idea is it should. Uh, I think that was an accident, which will hopefully be corrected. But Bio now up in the double digits. The early kill on Rampy, of course, helped a lot that round. They were definitely not able to find it once Rampy died. So maybe huddle around him as a human body shield just to make sure he's able to try and achieve his record. But Bio again going to be on that Maestro as they go again for Kitchen Defense. Last time this got shut down pretty easily by SSG once things started to get open. They're going to have to fight a little bit better and try and not have to fall back to that kitchen. Try and not let those walls get open so easily. And maybe Merc, don't get shot in the back this time. <laughs> I'm sure he won't make that same mistake. And the fact that Merc got picked off so easily, so quickly, so early in the round was what opened up the entire round for yeah. SSG to take into the main lobby and to pressure into site later. So if that doesn't happen, wink wink, I don't expect it to happen, then, uh, well, you could probably, ex you know, see It'll this going a little bit better for TSM. This is a really interesting setup they have by the freezer. They've opened it. That's one way to do it. When you know something's going to get opened anyways, use it against them. Yeah, maybe it'll work. Bolo's playing the long angle. Can he land the shot? He's also got the support from Merc. This is risky, though, because if you lose that fight, you lose the access to those goo mines for the rest of the round. Yeah. And there are other operators that, that might be a little bored. Like, I don't know, Jaeger. He's not going to be doing anything the rest of the round. Jaeger's probably the best of what you've got besides maybe Maestro if you want to take an extra risk. Because Maestro would be better at taking the fight. He could take it but, from further back. But he's riskier yeah. in terms of exposure. Absolutely. So, yeah, overall, I'd say Jaeger's probably the best because his, his gun does really hit, especially at a range compared to that SMG. But we'll see. Um... Well, who's taking it, and uh, he's being pretty passive on the on the angle. All That's the right too. call. There's two yeah. people pressuring it. Yeah, there's at least three people peeking this angle right now from the attack. I this like that he's trying to keep a pixel on it, though. It's yeah, such a tight angle. Make it faults. But no, no exposure. And there it is, the peak, and two oh, for Bolo! Oh, 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 Thinking Nate and Fultz both go down, and TSM are firmly in the driver's seat as Achieve gets a C4 onto Bosco. Rampy and Chala don't know what just happened, but they know for sure they're going to have to pull something pretty incredible oh, to make this happen. There goes Rampy, the prediction is in, it's all on Chala, and a oh, TK, no. no flawless round for TSM. They're handicapping themselves to give uh, Chala a chance here. Well, Chala has come close to clutching in this situation before. He's looking for one. 
can't get achieved. No vengeance for Biologic there. Knows there's Merc playing over by the right side there. What, I want to say dining? Yeah, that's the dining area. I think it's the VIP section. Okay, thank They're you. In. No. Chala just going to completely maneuver. He's going over to Bakery. This is not going to be better for him, though, in any way. No. Like, this, is this is definitely not an easier attack. He has just given up a lot of ground to try and catch his opponent off guard. He didn't catch his opponent off guard. TSM are far too focused. They want to go to Raleigh just as much as SSG. This is almost a just go hide outside and talk about the next round kind of moment. Yeah, it kind of is. Achieved makes up for his TK by getting the final kill, and TSM will hold on to Kitchen. That puts them on match point. Their map. Oh, so they should. Here's what I like about that, though. What did SSG do every single time? Take the bottom of white stairs. What denies that? Not letting them walk to the bottom of white stairs. They have no Monty to protect them. They can't safely cross that gap. And then as soon as Bolo timed that perfectly, that's, I mean, what a play. They're just shut down at that point. And that was just a pre-fire from Bolo. Yeah. He's just like, I'm just going to shoot this angle. And it's there are nice two gun. people there. Yeah. That was true. That it was a little bit lucky in that pre-fire. I mean, he, you know, well, it was. I wasn't saying it was lucky. I was just saying he, he did a good job. Yeah. He did a really good job on that pre-fire. Well calculated, well timed. He managed to take down two, and from there the momentum was fully in favor of his team. So, gotta hand it to him. Well, there's definitely a good chance this goes to overtime here, but reading is a uh, last time was won by SSG. So this is down to them trying to find a way to adapt. Now, last time, Rampy was a big part of that play. His ability to push on to the Maestro and then get to kill uh, on to what I think was the Valkyrie after that, pushing on to Heaven, that was a big difference maker. They need to shut that down this time. Bio needs to maybe even be a bit more aggressive in terms of stopping them from getting that close to be able to sprint up. I think he came from the Freezer, if I remember correctly. So he was kind of close in terms of that proximity, but they need to not let him get there. Maybe open up that side of the Freezer, have someone play it so that they cannot secure a freezer and push on him. Although he's downstairs, so I don't know. Well, I guess. I mean, maybe so, the big bar presence was pretty light from TSM was the big problem. Rampy yeah. was allowed to push too easily through that, what should be, again, a no man's land, but uh, ended up being, for Rampy, a highway to victory. So <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more disruption, maybe some presence downstairs in open area by the pillars. You can, you can elevate. You can deny that push on a long on a, on a long angle if you get uh, if you get elevated on the uh, mini bars down there. There's options. I mean, there there are options, but TSM are gonna have to look at the their their choices here. They have decided to bring Bolo on a dock. They've taken him off the lesion. They put achieved on the lesion. Interesting. After so, he did so well on it. Yeah, well, it makes sense though. I mean, Bolo want they want they need more angles. They need yeah. more people to fight upstairs into the big bar. They need to deny Rampy just pushing. And that's how you're going to do it. You're going to bring another gun. I like how they're playing kind of fluid upstairs as well. They're not sticking to static positions, not giving SSG the ability to just drone them out and call it a day. Yeah. It's the right way to do it. Got to play. You got to be, uh, you got to be fluid. You got to be dynamic, as they would say. Bolo's looking to challenge from heaven onto new drop. Not an easy angle to take, but he's got the gun for it. He's got the ACOG for it. So far, the amount of time it's taken him just to take Christmas is actually working out in the defender's favor quite a bit here. Oh, heck yeah. They're going to open it, but you've nearly burned two minutes to just really get pretty much the opening room. We have gotten to the point where most defenders will just fall back. We'll just retreat downstairs, but um, Achieved is keen to give away a pick to his opponent. Not yeah. sure why. It was a curious decision there from Chief. You had time advantage though. You didn't need to fight it. Yeah, he didn't even he didn't need to push Big Bar. Is yeah. is is the thing. He he didn't need to be there. He could have fallen back down wide stairs. He could be in sight right now. To be fair though, they still have a distinct time advantage if they don't lose any more players on this, and that's gonna help Bolo with one as well as Merc. <sighs> Double for Merc and thinking Nade does shut down Bolo, but Merc getting that last kill is going to leave TSM in the driver's seat in terms of man count. With only two alive, Space Station are uh, not in a great spot. Attackers they can get the diffuser here. Diffuser. They're going to need to kind of bunch up, push together. <laughs> I was almost worried about a TK there. <laughs> yeah, he thought about it. Yeah, he was he was contemplating his decisions. And uh, he, he went with the right 
the right one. Merc looking for more. He's got two so far. He'll get a third. Can he get the fourth? He rushes upstairs to find it. He knows where the buck is. He can hear the skeleton key, and he finds it. 4K for Merc. And we go to map two, TSM, winning map number one. Good on them for winning their map because, they, as we were talking about earlier, they've struggled a lot of times with their first map being a bit of a problem for them, and that's why part of why they're best one to, or best of three team. Because if you're best one, you lose the first map. There is no other maps. So yeah, this is definitely a good sign for them being able to pull that off. Bio definitely had some plays there, but uh, overall, a great team effort. You see a lot of good collaboration there in terms of points. It wasn't so top heavy as it was with Rampy. Chala though not maybe showing up as much as he had in the previous matchup. Oh, certainly. Certainly not showing up as much as he had against Luminosity. But still a good run there from SSG. They brought it to the bitter end, but it was bitter still for SSG. As TSM managed to take that one. And uh, next map will be Clubhouse, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and that should be interesting as that was the decider we did not get to in the previous matchup. Yeah. is uh, definitely an interesting one as it does definitely favor SSG in a lot of ways. I mean, they have a good record on it. A three wins, one draw, which was against Dark Zero. And then uh, the record for TSM, not so great on it. One win and two losses total across Pro League and uh, this qualifier. So we'll see, though. That was SSG's pick. Of course, they were looking for a weakness in TSM, and they're going to hopefully try and find it because they definitely did not win this map, despite it being one of their better maps. And that was TSM counter -striding. They watched that last match. They figured out someone how to play it. A little bit of a slow start, but they made it work. I got to say, TSM are looking really strong, especially considering they have a sub right now uh, in Pojo. And yes, I understand uh, Pojo Man is by far and away the most experienced player. It's like calling Gotcha a sub at this point. Right, I get it. But po I know I know Pojo Man is probably pretty much the most experienced player on, on this team. Yeah. Despite being a sub, despite being, you know, the, the coach. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it is going to upset your team dynamic. And it's just yeah. really impressive that TSM have managed to beat out SSG despite that fact. Yeah. You know, you got you have to afford time in those situations. There's the clutch from uh, from Pojo Man. And uh, some well-deserved uh, you know, victory laps, I guess, with the shotgun blast in a way. <laughs> <laughs> got to celebrate those small wins. Mm -hmm. This was a really interesting first map of this best of three. There were a lot of really beautiful individual performances. Rampy, for example, Pojo Man with the clutch. Uh, we saw some excellent things from Bolo, which is cool to see, as well as Thinking Man with his own clutch. And yeah, okay, people like Chala didn't show up as much as we expected, but honestly, there's only sometimes so much room for amazing 4Ks. Yeah. So. Good first map for this series. To be fair, it was also one point away from going to overtime. Could have gone even further for SSG, but ultimately they just didn't get that last round, and that's what cost them, and now they have to make it up for it on map two. So.
Welcome back for what could be the last map of tonight, depending on how TSM do. Right now, if you're just catching up, we had map number one in TSM, Team Solo Mid versus SSG, Space Station Gaming, go the way of TSM in a uh, pretty good battle. 7-5, though, it was very close to going to overtime. But TSM comes out ahead. That was their map pick. And now we're going to go to map number two, Clubhouse, which is now SSG's map pick. Should be interesting. Yeah, it certainly will be. It was the uh, decider, as you said, in the last match that we didn't get to go to because SSG to owed Luminosity. Happens. Now we'll see what it is that SSG had up their sleeves on this map. It makes sense that they picked it as it is one of SSG's more comfortable maps and much more importantly, so very importantly, uh, TSM didn't just watch SSG play yeah. on that map. We have to, we have to point out that the re one of the big reasons why TSM won on that map that we just saw, Cafe, is because they were watching SSG play it 15 minutes before they played it against SSG. Well, that it adds just... up because they won four defensive rounds. Yeah, they've won, they've won four defensive rounds and off of a Monty Band. Yeah, it was really, it was really, um, it was really good planning from TSM, but it also just comes down to exposure on the side of SSG. It's a disadvantage that you you get because you come out of loser bracket. I mean, that's, that's how how it works. Don't lose. Yeah, <laughs> don't lose. You go in through the winner bracket. You only have to play one of the finals in the same day. And they always talk about like, oh, well, the winners don't get enough advantage in these brackets in terms of like they don't get a free map or something like that. That's certainly an advantage showing less. No, no, no. There's so many advantages, starting with the fact that you're playing two best of threes. If you're SSG, you're playing one. If you're TSM, uh, there's the other fact that uh, again, TSM. We were just talking about TSM watches SSG play, which means every map that SSG plays prior to playing TSM. TSM is going to see it, yeah. and they're going to they're going to know how to play against it, like they did in that last kitchen defense. They just they knew how to shut out SSG. But luckily for SSG, they didn't go the distance against Luminosity. They didn't go to map number three, which means now on Clubhouse, SSG will have some freedom of information, freedom of play. Their strategies are going to hold up because they'll be countering how TSM play, and we'll see probably a very different match. I want to see how these operator bands go down, really, because this could be a real big shifter. Obviously, it was last map. Could be a big factor this time as well, because Hard Breacher is usually going to get banned, and a buck going to go from TSM first. Will there be a Hard Breacher ban, or will they actually just go without it? We also have seen Thatcher bans. This is a big decide. Okay, Maverick is the one to go, as he doesn't have that new super mega loud torch yet. Oh, yeah, so they're... Uh in in the TTS and they haven't put it out to full release. They they changed the way the torch works. Is it's, it's a little too loud. It's very loud. <laughs> I think you can hear it from spawn at this point. Is it really that? I haven't tested it. I I, I would. That's a slight exaggeration, but it is very very loud. I think it's a little too loud. It needs to be somewhere between where it is now and that. But well, I guess we'll find out when yeah. uh, whatever. I mean, they could it, again. It's TTS, so they could change whatever the heck they want to. Of course, there's nothing to, at all to talk about when it comes to the defensive fans. Yeah, nope, same old, same old. Although we were talking about earlier, like why maybe Maestro should be something considered on Cafe as opposed to Echo. We just, we haven't seen that happen, but. Yeah, it just seems like NA prefers to ban the Echo now. Yeah. Understandable. Maybe once he gets changed, like I said, maybe they'll uh, shift up how they do a little bit. But Church has become, and it was originally the OG bomb site on here, as uh, as you well know. How often yeah. Defend yeah. Church. The, uh, the church was always the primary bomb site way back in the day, but since the changes, people have preferred to go to cash to start, or sometimes gin if you gym if you want to trip up your enemy. But yeah, basement's always defensible. Yeah, it's definitely... Cash was, was a lot more popular at first when uh, the map was new, but at this point, I can understand why it's shifted to the church. This church is, well, just working a lot better for a lot of teams, but both hard breachers, uh, other than Maverick, left on the board here is pretty big because, that, of course, that means you can get hatches and still have room for either the dirt wall or church wall, or even set it up a little bit uh, so that you have also the possibility of a little re redundancy just in case for hatches, in case they go for impact tricking, things like that. But there is the Kayed, so we could see Kayed tricking happening on the Moto hatch, something that we occasionally see because it is one of the few hatches where you can pull your electric claw back off. Mm -hmm. That is kind of the important part of... You can also do it on the kitchen hatch, but you probably shouldn't. Risky. Yeah. <laughs> you, it's a good way to die. Yeah. That's where you impact trick instead. And I got to imagine yeah. Bolo's probably going to be carrying impacts. There is also the option for smoke to be carrying them. It's just not as common. Mm, do see it happen, but yeah, usually people will have the shotgun so they don't think to bring the impacts and because you need the shotgun for the soft destruction and other people could bring impacts. It just doesn't play in. Yeah. But... Uh, 
And we'll see. There's uh, going to be a Thatcher on the side of Space Station, so they'll be able to deal with the Electro Claw tricking in all likelihood. Good call. Even if he's not tricking, of course, you don't have a good way to deal with it otherwise without the Thatcher, so... Maverick can work, but... He's banned. He's banned, yeah. so... Uh, <laughs> he's not going to work this time. <laughs> nice little cheeky peek there. Just Very bad timing. <laughs> yeah, just scare him for a minute. But Hey, look how much time uh, Rampy's having to burn now. Yeah, it gives us some extra seconds. He has to drone out a second time. You could also maybe burn that other drone. It's a lot of uh, utility in those drones. They might just be communicating oh, uh, right now. He's going for another. Oh, he's just trying to get drones. Bolo's just trying to get drones, and he got them. He's like, I'm going to be the, the, the super mozzie and just kill them all instead of taking them. Yeah, he he uh, he just now took all the drones away from Rampy. And that's going to be debilitating for him as an individual. And it's going to hurt Space Station Gaming. So and it forces them more. to drone more. Yeah, the reinforcements, the cavalry comes in from his teammates. The thing is, is that they can't just like peek it dry because then they take unnecessary risks. So they have to keep doing this until they have established information that, hey, okay, no one's peeking it. Now we can go. Well, it looks like they're actually going to rotate instead over to blue, realizing, you know, too much contesting on that hallway, as well as uh, just a lot of different angles from the uh, moto. Mm, bad sound use there from the Chief. He thought he heard someone. He was wrong. He hit a shot on the Fultz, but only one. And the Electro Claw is going to go into the kitchen drop. This is why, uh, this is why you bring the Thatcher. It's achieved. Electro Claw is gone, but the uh, impact tricking is still so powerful. I like that it opened up a like like a corner of the hatch Bomb here for him to be able to use, almost like if Maverick was in play. It's not a lot of time left here for Space Station. No one's gotten killed just yet, so it's still anyone's round. But it's definitely favoring TSM at this point, considering the time. Yeah, Fultz at half health as well is certainly not going to help when they go to actually push. 30 seconds, they, they almost have to just hatch drop at this point or blue rush. Here it comes. That rush is going to happen in the next 20 seconds or so, or I guess Space Station will give up the round. That's not likely to happen. 15 now. So little coming out from SSG, but oh, they've made it into deep arsenal. They're taking out Pojoman, who was attempting to deny the plant, but the plant's actually going down now. Merc's looking to deny it outright through the shelf, he will. And a triple for Merc! What beautiful gunplay! Leaving just Bolo in a corner, but all he needs is time, and he'll win it! What a round there from TSM, and what a poor execution from SSG. Yeah. Purely on the clock. Well, you gotta credit then that, that peak that was uh, poorly timed in Moto, and then the peak from the hallway, it burned that extra time. Yeah, it, that was uh, two people in that round for me. Merc, who got all those kills, Yeah. and then and denied the plant, and then Bolo, for two reasons. Yes, he stayed alive at the end, big for him, but also, much more importantly in my opinion, he was... He was <laughs> This is sound weird for you guys, but he was he was destroying the drones a lot, yeah. and and that's huge. It it really hurts the drone economy, and it really hurts the time management of your uh, your, your opponent, the attackers. Attackers. It's, I mean, it certainly worked that round. It just their time management was so poor at that point. They just didn't have the intel to make the play, and I mean, it's not like there's going to be people in, in crazy unexpected positions most of the time. There's there's pretty predictable spots, but like you said, you can't just go in dry. Capital finally getting brought out today. Bosco sixth picking over to the Capitao. Very useful operator for this site, uh, especially this is part of the reason you see Capitao banned often on this map is the Rafters, where Achieved is right now, and Bio is probably going to be the one to play. That is a, a tough spot to hold when you've got fire raining down on you. Something he's going to have to watch out for. They may also even try an impact trick on the garage itself to deny them the angle onto the uh, cash window, on the server window. But it uh, depends on how they want to play it. Here's Bolo setting up an ADS for whoever's going to be playing those Raptors to have some extra bit of protection because you definitely don't want to get naded out. You want to force the Capitao to have to potentially peek or compromise his position to hit that fire onto you. But usually if he does, you're pretty much cooked at that point. They're going to bring in the Thatcher as well to try and help with both the hard breachers that leaves them the opportunity to open up potentially Jacuzzi as well as the server wall. The server wall is the more important one, and that's the one they're going to have to focus on potentially first. This is what the Zofia is for as well is to try and stop Achieve from bandit tricking We're on the other side. They have three tools to deal with the bandit tricking. The Capital, the Thatcher, the Zofia. A lot of choices. That's a good point. The Capital, I was just thinking about him for the Raptors, but he's very good at denying the bandit tricking as well. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do. 
We'll see what they decide to uh, commit to. But it looks like it's just going to be an EMP. And Rampy's going to take down Achieved, who is uh, attempting to challenge the West Window. Not going to work out so great there for Achieved. And now, SSG have a one-man advantage. They have the server wall open. But it's not one yet. They're still slowing down, though. Yeah, I mean, well, they've got a lot more time than I guess they're used to. Yeah, they didn't expect that wall to come down so easy. Impact trick uh, misses there from Merc because it's prone level. Surprised he actually went for it. Yeah, that was kind of a waste. I think he was just probably just trying to flick an impact over and, you know, hearing the X-Kairos go off. Maybe, yeah. Just didn't pay a lot of attention. Merc? I'm sorry to cut you off. What? He just probably was just concerned about his life. Yeah, makes sense. Merc, he was the one, yes. So it was Merc who has absolutely insane aim with his impacts on this particular location. Something about Merc playing down there, he always hits the impact on that garage panel. It's really crazy. Probably a lot of practice. Yeah, a lot, I would imagine. It's going to be Rampy to go down to Biologic after Bi uh, he managed to take out Bolo deep in sight. TSM still very much in this, but they're going to have to give us something interesting in order to get that man count back in their favor. Merc's looking to make a play as he rushed down to Lounge just now. It was very narrowly Pojo Man staying alive, but he'll die eventually as he repeaks, it seems, onto Bosco. Merc and Biologic, the only two for TSM. Good flank here from Merc. He only does damage, though. No kill. Biologic inside of sight. He's going to get two for himself. No, Thinking Nade. A beautiful recovery in that engagement. He gets the headshot. Merc, now the last alive, trying to hold out inside of Cash. He has information from the Evil Eye. He gets one on the floor, down, eliminated. It's just the planter and the cover. The cover is in, though, and Bosco will secure the round for Space Station Gaming. Definitely a close one for them, though, but just man count advantage eventually played into their favor. Also, the fact that too many people were off-site at that point. Bio, though, put up a great effort. Had he been able to get those picks, might have been able to save that round and gave enough time for Merc to get up and back him up. Just unfortunately lost engagement, but kudos to him on making the run out earlier and actually making that work for him. Bio on Maestro, similar to Chala on Maestro, has been quite the beast. And as, uh, Maestro's already a very strong operator. He put it in the hands of someone who uses it well. Quite contest but rather than play cash again interestingly they're gonna go work out at the gym see how that goes if it goes in a little bit better teasing the castle but the castle's what you'd normally want to play for this site you'd sixth pick to it that's confusing Attackers I guess they just want to really hide that Valkyrie pick um, yeah so it's probably comes down to it probably comes down to the fact that they don't want IQ in play so that the Valkyrie can be a more influent or more substantial force. That's a good call. And the IQ is not in play because the Capital. The Capital being unbanned means he's going to get played and yeah, as he should. It, you're not going to bring an IQ unless you see the Valkyrie and because you don't see the Valkyrie, well, there you go. Yeah. And there's tons of electronic gadgets. Literally every operator on defense is going to be putting something down or throwing something out. That could be spotted by IQ, so unfortunate missed chance there. But the Thatcher will catch quite a few of them. Just, again, important thing to note is that you don't know what you hit successfully with your thatch outside of what you see and hear because you do not get points notifications for it. So for those of you who do not play competitive settings would not necessarily know that. It is uh, definitely something where you might do a lot more work for your team than you even realize sometimes, depending on the positioning of those gadgets where you thatch. Achieve setting himself up, though, for a Kennel's jump out here. Just down to timing. He is waiting for the opportunity in the call. Now, those cameras could potentially be out from bio as they six picked over to that Valkyrie. They may not know to look for that. They, of course, shot the default cam, but they may not know if there's cameras on this side here. If so, and he times it right with a call from his teammates, can completely punish this. No. They are going to get the wall open. It's not the important wall, but it is certainly an important wall. No. Rampy was a good factor last round. Got two kills before he got taken down. Looking to get some more, of course. If he can continue to be a force to be reckoned with, SSG could definitely take this map, and Mar Merc's going to be the first victim of his. That was a really, really poor decision on Merc's part. Yeah. Um, I had no idea why he was trying to challenge like that. And he's going to, oh, nearly give up a second wow. kill there. Rampy saw an opponent, but decided not to take the angle or the fight. Biologic will fall all the way back. But following Merc's pick, this is looking good for TSM in that they've managed to delay somewhat, but they haven't gotten a refrag off of the loss from Merc. It's too bad Achieve had to shoot that drone because he was staying relatively unknown down there after setting up for the jump out and then not using it. Still could even use it late round if they didn't really catch on to that window being prepped. But uh, Rampy's still alive. 
The reason that SSG cleared out the cache and server is so that they don't have to worry about pressure from the east window here on the south balcony. It's also so that uh, they could potentially get a pick and gain some extra control and uh, cut down the options for TSM. C4 from below, biological miss. Doesn't go anywhere near a uh, single player. Yeah. Fudge are looking for drones. Bosco will take down Achieved just inside a workshop, it seems. She was trying to delay somewhat more, but still a lot of time here for Space Agent. And they have been slow on their attacks, so the time is big for them. Ooh, Pojo Man holding the angle with the shotgun. It's hard to challenge that. Bolo, a big performance as he gets two. Oh, Chala and Rampy go down. It's low HP on everyone for TSM. Full HP for Space Station. But Bolo's in a great position, and he's looking for a third. It's Bosco in sight. He's very exposed, whether he knows it or not, to Biologic and Bolo, thinking they though eliminates Bolo, leaving just Biologic and Pojo Man. Again, the HP is favoring Space Station quite a lot, and after that pick, this is definitely winnable for the attack, but oh, what a push from Bio! But he loses it out to Bosco! The LMG has more ammo, thinking they lands the shot on Pojo, and it's SSG who get the round. Despite a great effort from Bolo as well, that run out, he, de he denied, oh, I'm sorry, denied the defuse from coming in as well, left it out of there, but then had no way to follow that up and guard the defuse plant. But that was a bold move. Usually you want to be turtling down a bit more inside the bathroom and trying to hold them off, especially if you have a smoke or something like that. But that was definitely an interesting play. It's just too bad, unfortunately. Just the too many lost fights coming out from the rest of his teammates and then a little too exposed himself inside that bathroom, just wasn't paying enough attention. They're going to go back down to church where it's a little safer and then pray that they can catch this round to bring it back to a 2-2. Going to go with a, the same lineup as before. We'll see if there's any six picks coming out. Nope, nothing from SSG either. As there's no reason to. The lineup is Attack good for this. I can imagine though Bolo might not getting away with uh, denying as much drones as he did before. I almost, I almost wonder if they might want to consider playing Mozzie a bit more, considering the impact they had with denying those drones previously from Bolo shooting them manually. Just imagine having some pests there as well. Even two pests on that doorway would just be like impossible to deal with. You could sacrifice one drone and then you'd still have to deal with a second. Well, TSM get to go back to the basement now, which is their comfort zone. It's the only site that they managed to win. The thing that continuously is punishing TSM is that they are they're getting picked off over and over and over again. They're always leaving someone exposed. They're getting away with some of their aggro plays, too. It's just, yeah, it's the follow-ups from SSG. They're, yeah. they're getting a lot of those picks, like you said, on players that just maybe aren't paying enough attention to angles. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Also noticing that Space Station are exceptionally on point right now. And that shot, like, <laughs> did you see that shot from Thinking Nate, the last one there yeah. at the end of that last round? That was insanity. They're, they're gunning for this win so hard. And Space Station fighting tooth and nail on the back foot considering they lost map number one. I, I just, I'm finding it hard to believe that we're not going to see map number three here. You, you don't play seven matches leading up to this one just to lose now. Yeah, you just, it just doesn't happen. It really, really doesn't. And and again, with the reward being such, such a big target at Raleigh Major, you just can't. You can't give up. We'll see how they do, though. This was the site they lost last time, as you mentioned. The comfort zone here for TSM, so they could tie it up just fine. But then, of course, that does mean they, again, have to go back to the sites they lost. <laughs> they're trying to drone. This time, they're trying to get a bit more security through blue, since they had so much trouble pushing down to the church wall and that T hallway down there. Blue is currently unmanned, but they're playing, and by they, I mean TSM, are playing it from long angles. Smartly so. Yeah, I mean, this, this is a common practice, especially with nades in play in Thatcher or Capital. Capital isn't being brought from SSG, but he could be if they sh so choose. They've decided to offer two hard destructors this time and the Thatcher. Yeah, they want these hatches open this time. Ooh, the impact is successful. Sledge from ab above is trying to deny further impact tricking, but he's a little bit late on there. Second impact will also be successful. That's going to be four x Xkeros that will detonate on the patch, though. Oh, no! More impacts! Pojo and Achieved both bringing impacts. So that's what we were talking about, the smoke with the impacts, and he did it. He went for it, and you know what? It's paying off right now. Again, we're going to see a desperate round from SSG.
This is really weird that they haven't decided to bring something that can actually deal with this. Pojo's last impact will be success. Oh no! Oh, close. Too late from Pojo Man! And Fultz is going to take down Merc, which means that TSM now find themselves on the back foot with only 40 seconds left. You know they're going to drop Arsenal. They have to drop Arsenal, but as Bolo gets eliminated by Thinking Nade, it looks like that Arsenal drop might be a really good take. A lot of pressure on Biologic, but he's eliminated by Fultz. That's two for Fultz in this round. TSM is falling apart in their comfort zone. Where can they find success? Pojo Man gets the first kill. The gas canister not denying. The second one will have to come out, and that will be successful. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo with the only kills for his team. Achieved on low HP, Pojo Man sees a third. He gets it. Nice shot. SMG 11, such limited ammo, but he can find two more. And oh, Bojo Man's absolutely insane. He's going for the fifth, but he doesn't even need it. The time. What a clutch from Pojo Man. He's back. The coach steps off the bench, comes out swinging. Wow. What a play. The SMG 11, as you said, so little ammo, but like a laser beam, just frying their heads. Wow. He did not want to lose that round, I tell you what. Wow. What a clutch from Pojo Man indeed. And, and it's him too who delayed so long with those impacts for there. I mean, it's unfortunate his second one uh, didn't work as that would have really botched things for SSG, but it didn't matter in the end. I'm almost surprised he didn't switch to the shotgun when he was doing the little roundabout there, but it didn't matter. He won. Defending yeah, limited uh, ammo on the SMG 11, as I said during the the clutch. It's impressive that Pojo Man managed to make that happen with the tools at his disposal. Yeah. But, uh... Probably won't see a repeat of that, but he's no. probably going to be putting that in his digest. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. He hasn't actually uploaded one for, like, four months or seven months Coaching is, like, like a full-time job. Yeah, he's been busy. He's been busy, but yeah. there's a lot of old content there if you want to look at the uh, the old Pro League like stuff. 30 digest or something? If you're a new viewer, you don't know Pojo. <laughs> old player, been around for a long time. When I say old, I mean vetted. And, uh, yeah, he, he makes the best Pro League content for in terms of hilarity. If you follow Rainbow Six Pro League, you'll find it really funny. Yeah, definitely the case. Well, he's definitely going to be finding that last round pretty funny. Despite what he got away with. Again, they're setting up a lot of these cameras around kennels again, so they could potentially set up for runouts. I wonder if Merc's going to be playing that same window, setting up for those runouts. Although I think it might actually have been achieved last time on the Jaeger. I can't remember for sure if it was Merc or achieved, but Merc's been playing a lot of Jaeger, so probably Merc. Could very well be. Merc's been having a really good match so far. Um, he's landing his shots, he's having a performance, and a half he has. He did clutch out the first basement defense, and the second ba basement defense was clutched by Pojo Man. So currently, the only rounds that TSM have won on clubhouse defense have been clutches. That's certainly not great. Yeah, as much as it is impressive for Merc, it is impressive for Pojo Man and Bolo, who contributed as well in that first one. Um, I will say that SSG, while they are even right now, are looking much more comfortable in Clubhouse. Yeah, their attack takes at least. We haven't seen their defense yet. Of course, that could be where uh, TSM also come alive. But the attacks, yeah, have been fantastic from SSG, despite a little bit of delays in time. That said, I mean, well, I agree with you to an extent, but it's also like defender side. It's oh, Clubhouse, absolutely. you know? So absolutely. it's definitely, uh, if SSG can get one or two more rounds, they're looking good going to the second half. Probably map three. Yeah, you know, probably map three, but... Bolo, Merc, Pojo, they're all trying to they're all trying to make us eat our words here and, and finish this in a 2 well. They're looking pretty good so far. We've seen some amazing stuff. Well, this is definitely gonna be a contest here. I, I gotta imagine they're gonna peek him at some point. Capitals in, in play. Just gonna come down to timing for Bolo. Bates, and he doesn't fall for it. But he lands his shots, the Firebolt's coming out, and there goes Thinking Nade. Fultz takes down Achieve, though, and it's an entry into the garage, but two for Bolo. He's punishing Space Station Gaming, as is Biologic, as they attempt to take control of Garage. Downstairs in Lounge is Fultz. Bosco is still trying to challenge Bolo in the garage, but there's that Dock Overheal, and the Firebolt does come out. It lands, and oh no, Bolo is going to go out to Bosco, which puts this into a two-on-two. -two. Insight, Fultz will eliminate Biologic, as he's just allowed to walk up the stairs. The Flash will go right onto Pojo Man. It's going to be a vault, but the wrong direction. It seems that Fultz has to get the diffuser and he'll give up on control of the site itself just for that. Probably the right call. 
as Bosco and Foltz can double down on Pojo. They don't want to give another chance for Pojo Man, the coach of TSM, to clutch out this round. The right decision. The fuser in hand now. 20 seconds left, and it's clearly going to be a garage take. He doesn't hear anyone on the balcony. And at some point, he has to make the decision to push into server. Here it is. He's made that decision. Is there a rotate hole? The window. Oh, a missed shot from Pojo Man. And the flash. He's fully blind. Patience does not work for Pojo this time. It won't be a second miracle. And SSG will secure the round on some very patient and calm play. A lot of one-off utility. The flashbangs keeping them alive long enough to get the defuse plant. The flashbangs there winning the round. And then the firebolt, the second one coming out from Bosco, managed to catch Bolo in a corner. He couldn't quite get away. Might have been able to vault through the window in time had he maybe just gone for it rather than wait, but at the same time, he had some great plays. Bolo really, if they would have won that round, a lot of it would have been on the back of Bolo, those two picks that he got in Garage, and not falling for the first Capital Bolt, and the bait they tried to make on the doorway with the, the peak and then the peak from the other side. Fantastic play and repositioning from him, but ultimately, the rest of his teammates getting picked off one at a time just did not help. And of course, Bosco, great play from the Capital, managing to make it work. Great flashbangs as well. Bio going to bring out the castle for realsies this time on Jim. Attackers need to locate and Again, they don't they don't want to double down on cash when they lose it. They just move on to Jim both times now. Again, they still, as you said, they should be winning a lot more of these defenses. Still only church for TSM, which is starting to make this look like could be a, a very clean map for SSG to take it into map number three. For those of you who didn't catch it earlier, that would be Villa, which as I mentioned earlier, would be the perfect decider for these two teams. See if the castle barricade does a bit more for them this time. All right. Well, castle is very powerful on Jim, so you, I mean, you can expect it to be useful. And the bulletproof camera is interesting. Usually, you'll see the impacts on castle because then they can use a lot of uh, a lot of that stock destruction. They can open up those castle barricades whenever they want to. They have shotguns at least to open yeah. up rotates if they need to. There's choices, yeah. there's choices. Bulletproof cameras, as just Marcio just highlighted, is inside the gym right there to be able to spot if they try and come in from the hot tub, uh, the jacuzzi wall. And that's gonna give a uh, sight to Bolo as well on jacuzzi wall, which is nice if they try and come in on him. He doesn't have to peek the hole once they get it open. So the impacts are great, but I do like at least where the bulletproof camera is being used. But Achieved is the first to go. So Bosco, Capitao is his man. Yeah, did some work on that. He's really been doing a lot with the uh, with the Capitao, and you can see why Space Station decided not to ban him this time around. Probably the right decision, considering the work that he has been doing. Space Station, again, looking so good on their attacks here, and the big first step is going to be taking control of Cash and Server. That's a well placed Legion trap there, and it's going to give information to Pojo Man, as he probably will have known where that Legion trap was. Merc, though, again, a very aggressive play, and he'll be punished. TSM have had some amazing rounds here, mostly, mostly on the defense of the basement, but they're <laughs> trying to give it away as Biologic peeks into the same angle that Merc did and dies. Uh, this round is all but over, and we're in the first two minutes. This is not supposed to happen. Pojo Man doing his best to hold on to cash. He'll be the last one alive, and yeah, no one versus five clutch there. It's going to be a flawless round for SSG. That was a complete stop. Beautiful job to SSG. And uh, we're looking down the barrel of a map number three as SSG and the first half, 4-2. That is terrible for Clubhouse. Oh, yeah, absolutely terrible. Uh, we, okay, we've seen some amazing stuff from TSM. Two great clutches on the basement. But wow, SSG, you gotta hand it to them. Tried and true, patient yet lethal, and running through that first half really well. Good droning on their part, too. So, for example, you saw at the end of that round when Pojo was getting collapsed on, there was a drone sitting in the room just a foot or two from him that he didn't even notice. A lot of those times where they're catching a lot of these players exposed or on angles they're peeking, things like that, is good droning that we're just not necessarily seeing a lot of the time directly on camera. That's, that's where they're winning, and that's part of the reason why uh, Bolo's denial of those drones was so impactful in that uh, first church round. It's just droning was really working out for them. I gotta say, Mozzie might have been the play for them to secure a lot of the, more of those defensive rounds on the top floor. 
Maybe, maybe. I mean, that could have been really useful. Um, I think a big factor of the efficiency from space from space station was definitely the fact that they could drone freely. Yeah. And we've seen what we've seen what happens when they can't drone freely. Right. Throwing them U two, and they're just they're blocked yeah. at that point. So maybe that would have been the call, but now SSG are the ones who get to go into defense. And TSM did not get nearly as many defensive rounds as they should have yeah. out of that first half. Um, Still within the realm of possibility, this could end up in an overtime. It it could it, it it certainly could. I mean, it could be a win still for TSM straight up without OT, but it's unlikely. It's yeah. looking like map number three, and if we do get to map number three, it will be Villa. That will be really interesting, and I still think it's very very likely to see that happen, especially with the way things gone so far on yeah. Clubhouse. Yeah, at this point, certainly, this is definitely Space Station's map, and it's why they picked it. And again, the fact that TSM doesn't have any prior information to work with. The fact that they can't just, oh yeah, look at what they did here. Nope. Look at how they hold, uh, attack this. Look at how they hold this. Uh, because they didn't get to watch Clubhouse in the match prior. Um, yeah, that's hurting TSM. It was obvious that TSM used it yeah. in, in, the, uh, in the last map, but not here. The upside is they did show during qualifiers Clubhouse twice. They sure. lost it there, or played it to, to uh, LG and actually won it. So they did show some of their winning strategies when they played LG before. And then they also won it against Reciprocity. So they have shown a bit. But maybe that was a lot of their attacks. Maybe they won't even show how they defend. Maybe. I guess we'll find out how that's going to all influence this. LMGE unachieved. Hmm. You don't usually see that for the Zofia, but it does happen. It's not a bad LMG. I mean, none of them really are. It's mostly been Bolo playing the Zofia, too, so we haven't really seen Achieved playing it. Yeah. It's kind of weird that we're seeing him switch on to the Habana, but totally reasonable, I suppose. And they're definitely taking advantage of the Capitao as well with Merc. Yeah, the Capitao, I don't know, can Merc live up to the performance we saw from Bosco in the first half? Because Bosco's Capitao play was pretty amazing. We didn't see them use it on this site either. It's very useful for clearing out behind that minibar inside Church. It's super, yeah, it's, uh, Capitao very good on this site. Well, I mean, Capitao is universally good. Yeah. But it really depends on what other tools that you need to bring. Do you have space for a Capitao is the real question. Yeah. Well, Kitchen Drop, the next target here for Bolo. He's got to be careful. Worried about the impact tricking. They will use a Thermite Charge for it, though, just to make sure that they'll burn up some of that utility before they start using Habana. It's probably a bait. The second impact could come out, though. And I think it just did. But it missed. Ooh. Oh, partially missed. So he's going to need to use his last Xkaros, but this seems to be calculated from TSM. I think they were aware of how much they wanted to waste. However, Fultz also has impacts, and now Space wow. Station have successfully denied the Kitchen Drop. Unless there's another Exothermic, but I seriously doubt that. That definitely, we were seeing both teams go with four impacts now. Yeah, on the kitchen drop down, it, if you can deny kitchen drop, it's just so big for your team. Thinking Nate's gonna take down Achieved over by Moto, playing an aggressive angle, and he's still playing it. He wants the he wants the fight, he wants the kill. Firebolt's going into blue, Merc is looking to take control here, but he's got a Legion Trap in his foot, and that's gonna slow him down, especially when we get to the last 18 seconds. Pojo Man gets the entry kill, and a second for Pojo Man. Biologic onto Rampy, and oh no, it's just Bosco in Dirt Tunnel. He'll finish off one, but he's all alone. He'll have to retake his own sight. It's not going to be easy, and what a pre-fire from Bolo. TSM take their first attack. A trade, but this time it goes in favor of the attackers because there was attackers left alive. So it would not have been a draw. Nice done. So maybe we will see it. TSM winning the attack against the site that SSG couldn't even successfully attack, and to boot. That is after getting denied Kitchen Hatch and using all their utility to get it. Yeah, it was pretty impressive, to be honest. Just um, gunfights, man. The, uh, I say it was pretty impressive. I imagine it was pretty impressive. Didn't get to see it. <laughs> yeah, we missed about but half of it. We got unlucky, is the way I would put it, yeah. because it was Pojo trying to entry. The problem is, here's the problem. When, when a team attacks in the last 18 seconds... And then they start pushing into the site with yeah. 15 to go. It's really hard to capture everything. Yeah. Like it's, it is unbelievably difficult to see what the heck happens. So good job to Pojo, good job to Bolo. <laughs> we know both of them did a lot of stuff thanks yeah. to the kill feed. But uh, yeah, it must have been crazy over by Church. You know what always cracks me up is a lot of teams aren't always watching the clock super carefully, and you can see it almost without fail. As soon as the announcer says 15 seconds left. Everyone starts Sprinting. going. Ah, yeah. Just ah. The chaos begins because they're just not as conscious of it till the moment the announcer says yeah. the, the the sound change, the music. 
kicks in, the heartbeat or whatever. It's just and that's exactly what happens is that yeah. the sound start that that yeah. I don't know what you to, know, your adrenaline kicks in. Yeah, it, it does. It does. It, 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 every siege player has felt it. Yeah. When you get to the last couple seconds, you're on attack and you're like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> gotta go. Rag out time. Yeah. Well, let's see if TSM can keep up this streak of winning attacks. Now, this is interesting. It's a roam on the top floor, and it's a defense at the bottom floor, and it seems that TSM want to clear it out. Have they? Do they know where the site is? Because they could just hit site. There's three roamers upstairs. They have this is broadcast. And that's what usually happens, too, is they end up, it, when, it, when a team there's, recognizes, they just hit site. There's like four roamers, actually. No, no, no. Three. I count three right now. But why? Why? Just blue. Just, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not blue. I just mean because you're all right Because they're roaming above blue, but they could they could go to a lot of places that don't involve defenders now, right now, and the dick could be in sight. Yeah. Oh, well. But I guess they're going to try and be thorough. TSM are going to try and be thorough. They want to clear out the roamers, and that's going to work against them as they lose Merc. At least Bosco's low on health, but yeah, not great. A loss is a loss. Yeah, Merc has definitely not been as effective as uh, Bosco as on Capital. Mm-hmm. Merc has been having a good match overall, good play day overall, for sure, though. Yeah. Um, and the Capitao is the real is the real hit. Bolo entering into workshop, but he doesn't have information, so he's going to have to guess, and he'll guess wrong. Bosco, the second kill. And he's taken out two very influential operators. This round is all but over. Space Station Gaming should take this handily, despite losing Bosco down just now. What an unexpected defense, though. And uh, TSM just... Baited right into it, basically. Actually, I think Bosco may have been downed in gym, but it doesn't seem like Poacher's aware that he downed him. He, he did down him. He just doesn't know. There we go. Now he knows. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, okay. TSM. Yeah, they've, they're, okay, they're one man down, but they've lost a lot of time, and more importantly, they've lost a lot of utility. They should through and through be a space station round. If it be the case that TSM wins this round, then, uh... Then yeah, I think this is a 2-0 at that point. Still not too bad though, considering uh, they won Church the first time. Oh, we've got the down bug. Mm. The uh, the down sound. Mm, the yeah. sound starts like fading away and yeah, to the abyss. Mm -hmm. Thinking Age is on a roam here, still by Freezer. It's not an easy position to play, but it hasn't been droned out, and he just heard someone go on the main stairs. The easiest sound use you've ever seen, and he's about to pick up two kills for it. Oh no! He what? gets turned on by Pojo Man! What a prediction there! He must have heard the footsteps, and an entry from Achieved! It's suddenly a three versus two! But False takes down Achieve, and it's a two versus two. It's much better for Space Station, but they are in a bad spot, and as the cross comes out from Rampy, he'll be punished for it. It's all on Fultz now, but the time is definitely in Fultz's favor. Pojo Man goes for the peak and wins it! What? What? Is the 2 coming? The peak! The, he, he types LOL in chat! What a miscalculation there from the smoke and Pojo Man, the second clutch of this match. The ultimate bait. What, are we, what game is this? Put, put Pojo in Arsenal and the game's over. We bring ourselves to an even round count, 4-4. Four, four. What just happened? You were doubting the attacks from TSM. I, dude, there's no way TSM wins that round. Right? There's no way. Church, how did, twice how, without drop. How does Space Station throw that away, Kitchen man? drop, smitch and drop. Uh, Walk in the hallway, shoot people. I don't even know. I, Mind blown. That round was so confusing. Right? <laughs> The rush at the last couple seconds, every exactly. time you wait till zero, zero, zero. Every time. If they get the diffuser down, if the plant is successful, you didn't, yeah, you didn't then, you, then you 1v1. If the plant is successful, then you 1v1. But if you're caught in transition, it's the easiest bait of Pojo Man's career. That's why he's lolling at that point. And it's why he's top fragging. He's 10-0. 10-0. Who, who isn't putting Pojo Man on their main starting lineup? Put myself is, in, coach. Who, what is going on right now? Oh, boy. Bosco trying to compete, though, staying two frags ahead of Pojo, but Pojo, man. Whoo! We'll see how they do on this attack, of course, as uh, this could be a complete flip-flop reverse in terms of them losing attack on Cash. The man is lolling in chat after he wins clutches. Right. It's an inst it was instantaneous. He didn't even have to think about it. It was just lol. Yeah, it's, it's, it's typed it's done at that point. Yeah. All right, uh, Space Station, they have lost a lot of rounds that there's no world where they should be losing them. Yeah. 
That's an interesting shield. Awesome. Yeah. That will allow you to play the front door. He's like, front door? You're not coming in that one. It's already <laughs> open. They, uh, I think they oh, Zofield that front door open. Interesting. Well, it was pretty quick. Bosco's going to try and play it. He's been pretty effective on defense to an extent, but so far they have yet to win a defense, so not effective enough. We'll see if Merc can maybe find some work with that cap tower this round to change things up. We're seeing so much breach charges on Hatch, but this time there isn't a sledge, so definitely makes more sense now. I can imagine he's probably also still running with the uh, LMG and thinking they'd already taken damage here. Trying to bandit trick and deny the wall as much as he can, but Captow Firebolts also going to try and slow him down in that respect. So Merc is doing some work here this time. Let's see if we can get that wall open. So far been a slow roll for TSM, but they've done good work in getting that server wall open. You talked about, especially against a Kaid and a Mute, or sorry, Kaid and a Bandit. Yeah. Pardon me. It's a lot of electricity. Yeah, and uh, they've got all the hard breach. They've got. They have every single operator on the attack. Let's just appreciate this for a second. Every single operator on the attack is designed for opening that wall. Yeah, like it's, every it's happening. They all contribute to opening up the server wall. Yeah. Not one of them doesn't. So Maybe it should be the strat where they just open up the wall for them. And yeah. Like, we'll play it soft. I kind of miss book there. They're not designed for that, but that's like that's a function that they all perform. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Space Station Gaming. Setting up to hold out here, but the castle barricades are being peeled away. There's an excess of hard destruction, so there's no need to save the Xcarrels for anything else. Looks like they're going to go for a workshop take as well as a server wall take. It seems like a chief is just cutting off the rotation while the rest of these players push in from workshop. I like the idea. Take everywhere at once. There's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, lots of pressure being applied. Lots of crossfires here from TSM, and the rotation being cut off still in server is huge. Impact tricking has worked so far for Space Station to deny the workshop wall. And that, that's going to give them a little bit of room to breathe. Achieved is still looking for frags on this repel. He's been here the whole time. Achieved gets one. There you go. That's uh, thinking it. He was playing in the cash hallway over by the stairs. Good angle there on the repel. You can see a nice angle here for Bolo as well. Ooh, Achieved sees the head. And here comes the pre-fire. No. Oh. Oh, what a standoff. It's just barely. Oh, there he saw it. That bio took it, though. Now, Biologic gets the kill. The Chief going for the entry, and he'll get it. There goes Fault. Space Station Gaming are falling apart, but there's only 15 seconds. Merc gets one, achieved the last, and a flawless round for TSM. They want their ticket to Raleigh, and by Jove, they're going to get it. 5-4 TSM's favor. Don't need a plant if you kill them all. It's true. That's true. There was only 10... 10-ish, 20... Wait, sorry. 10 to 12, I meant to say, seconds left in that round. Yeah. But uh, TSM are not relenting. No. I, again, it's it's not even necessarily like utility work or things like that. They're just gunning That's a good on way SSG. To, that's a good way to put it, Devin. They are absolutely gunning. They're, they're just... SSG are getting... They're getting beaten at every, every almost all of these gunfights. I got to wonder if actually their aim is starting to get shaky just off of how, like the TSM winning these rounds they shouldn't be. I think the Pojo Man clutch on the basement, I think that was what did it. I think what, I'm, what we're seeing right now is an amped up TSM. Yeah. TSM in absolute full focus mode. And on the other side, Space Station Gaming, they've had their moments, some beautiful shots, some beautiful plays, but nothing to really push them over that edge. And that really does, when you when your teammate clutches like Pojo Man clutched on that basement, yeah. I, I, I cannot exaggerate this enough. It really does change your mindset. It really does change how you approach the whole match. And especially after, if you win the next couple rounds, you see success immediately yeah. after that. Yeah. There's just this feeling, this welling in your in your chest that you, you, you can't, you can't shake it and it and it'll carry you to fix it will carry you to victory. It one hundred percent will. The fact that Pojo Man clutched that might have just won the match. Not just off of the round itself, but again because of what the impact it has on his teammates. Yeah. And that's and that's not even counting the second clutch. I wish we could hear the comms during some of these last second pushes too. <laughs> yeah. And imagine they're just crazy. Here's the real test though. Can they win church a third time? Will the hatch be denied yet again? Yeah. Uh, here, here's here's my my thing. Uh, my question is, when is that space station going to realize that they are clearly a more practiced clubhouse team? Because it is plainly obvious that space station know this map better. Yeah. And they're losing it right now. It is. I, I think if you if you really take a deep dive, if you look very closely, 
at these teams. TSM, like you said, they're gunning. They are out fighting Space Station. Maybe Jimmy. it's working against SSG because they're expecting TSM to play the way that everyone else does, and they're clearly not. That's That could be it. Yeah, that absolutely could be it. Uh, I, I, I think that's possible, um, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm wondering when Space Station Gaming are going to yeah. start uh, changing things up here to try and account for how TSM are playing. Whatever the case be, whatever is causing the problems, uh, Space Station are a more practice map on this team. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just said that. A practice, a more practice team on this map is what I, I meant to say. I didn't even catch what you said for it, the two. Yeah, because it, 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 it blends connects. together. It blends yeah. together. <laughs> All right. So Merc showing how useful Capitao is, and he'll actually gain control of blue, pretty much, you know, all by himself, using one Firebolt. That's what Capitao does. Bolo's trying to open up the kitchen drop down. It's not easy to do, but it can be done. This is where they're gonna have to use so much utility opening the floor just to set this up. This is, I mean, but it's like, it hasn't even been that important at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's true, because the last time TSM won this attack, it was not thanks to the drop. I think the first two rounds, it was like both times not dropped. But Bio just oh, runs in he's and kills in. him. He, he's into sight, and he's got his pistol out, the thinking he gets the drop. refrag, but so does Pojo Man. And it's all on Rampy and Bosco, but Bolo's on low HP. This is evened out somehow thanks to Rampy's efforts. Rampy, lest we forget, has been having an amazing day today as well. Some absolute incredible shots being landed by him, but he's on low HP now. And achieved, and Bolo are in a good position thanks to the fact that they've opened up the kitchen drop down. Bolo also on low HP. A lot of this is going to come down to who wins this gunfight. The angle's being set up, and it's going to be, oh, a narrow miss there from Bolo. Bosco barely wins it out as Bolo pushes his luck. And now it's a one versus two. Advantage to Space Station. The LMG has lots of ammo. He can keep spraying on this. Achieve knows it. He's going for the push. There's two angles to fight, though, and he doesn't know where the second is. It's a down, and a one versus one, and achieved! What, what an absolute monster! What? TSM cannot be stopped! That's four in a row. This is the church of Team Solo mid. They win it on their defense. They win it on their attack. They live and breathe. <sighs> church. Yeah, they're winning those attacks, huh? And they're all clutches. They're all clutches. <laughs> they, you, Bio was in as Thatcher gunning them in church. He just walked into sight, guys. Maybe, maybe his song was on the jukebox. He in walked into sight. The reason we didn't see that is because who does that? No. No one. That's what I mean. And Church again? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to try it again? And Rampy got downed. After Rampy got downed, Oh, that seed of doubt is planted in the Rook's head. It's got to be. It's, it's planted. It's He's better. scared. Better He's playing scared. He dies. And oh, TSM are on match point, series point. Who would have thunk it? I just, you don't see that happening. Man, it's SSG. They're so good here. And they're losing. They're just losing to TSM pushing. And the thing is, too, like, so SSG have been around long enough to probably underestimate Pojo. Right, as a player. Oh yeah. Because he was the, he was the support player. He wasn't you know the top gunner or anything on uh, on Dark Zero before. He's playing support here too. Exactly, and so that, I think that, that clutch probably impacted me even more just because of completely undervaluing Pojo. Maybe, maybe. I just the thing that keeps popping into my head is I know that Space Station are better you than should this. Be winning me. Space Station is a good clubhouse team. They're one of the best teams in North America as well. Just flat out, obviously they're a pro league team. And there's, exactly like you said, it. there are so many of these rounds that Space Station should just be winning. I tell you what, if TSM doesn't get the hatch open again and they still win this round, I'm going to have a heart attack, I think, on screen. I, they, won, they, open, they got it open that last round, but I don't think it really played much it of an effect. Matter. because It actually worked against them. Yeah. Because Bolo got put He it, shouldn't have repeated He that. shouldn't have repeated it. And he lost his life. And it forced Achieved into a one versus two. Anyway, all of this aside, TSM have got to be so amped up that I just they have to have You're every screaming right now yeah I, I imagine I imagine because I'm screaming <laughs> right if we're, if we're this excited imagine how excited they are we're not even playing yeah exactly it's hard not to feel the emotion though when you're seeing stuff like this Merc just waiting for his opportunity hoping for a free pick early if they think there's no pressure from Capital. Some players do get antsy in that position it's very boring sitting behind uh, especially for Jaegers Jaegers yeah. love moving think he nade though not wanting to take any risks. He knows that one round will cost his whole team. 
and he cannot take that risk. He cannot go for the push. Merc, though, whenever he wants, he can... Oh, oh he saw the gun. Merc must have seen that peak. He's concerned about a goo mine being down there, too. There's the Firebolt. That's going to do some damage. The rotation there. Oh. It's caught, though. Sinking Nade's position is known, but he gets Merc regardless in a peak. And he's on low HP, but that's the Capital gone. So advantage now to Space Station Gaming, but they've had this advantage so many times before. Yeah. Will it be enough this time around? One minute. Ooh, this could this could so go anyway. I I you can't tell how these rounds are gonna go, but they've been going TSM. Yeah, I mean they should a lot. They all should be going to Space Station. But you you're right. They go TSM. Well, here comes the time bleed. Merc is gone. Thinking aid on low HP. Bolo trying to push into blue now. He's no longer by the kitchen hatch. Biologic inside of Bodo looking for an angle. Ooh, some missed shots there from Bolo, but some damage done all the same. Just a little bit, though. Very nice angle there from Rampy. He's going to take down Biologic. Pojo Man gets faults. He's been fragging out from this Moto position a lot. But can he do enough in this round? It seems the answer has been yes and passed. And there goes Thinking Nate. He's down on the floor. Now it's a three versus three. It's looking much more winnable. Oh, but Bosco has come alive in these last rounds. And he'll take down Achieved. That's a really big kill for his team. The down onto the Aegir not called. And Bolo will run in circles before being downed. It's now all on Pojo, who misses his flash. Goes for the push in through Moto and is shut down. Bosco, a great round. Rampy, the final kill. And SSG finally win a defense. It only took them five rounds. TSM, I don't see them coming back on their attack rounds enough. Uh, <laughs> it shouldn't have happened. I'm, I, I'm, I probably shouldn't even be rubbing that in your face because, man, it was unbelievable attack so far. But dude, the, yeah, yeah, I gotta be honest. I, I, I made the prediction that I don't see TSM coming back on the attack rounds. Based off I, logic? I, based off logic, based on what we've seen on Clubhouse in the past, based off the fact that I think that Space Station mechanically, strategically, are a better team on this map. Yeah. Um, I think we're going, like, I was thinking we're going to map number three. And we could still go to map number three. Yeah. If this goes to 6-6, uh, six, six, we will enter into a overtime phase, which will be the first overtime of the day. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll see whether or not we go to that map number three. Well, they're going to go for the Hail Mary and go for Jim rather than try Cash again. Defenders because so far, as you said, they have lost all the Cash. sites except for finally winning Church that last round. Part of that, unfortunately, was due to Merck's early play not catching uh, the Jaeger, and then even getting caught, killed by him, thinking nade. And uh, that was not great. Merc has not been doing the best on this cap town. Thinking nade, though, managing to get up to 10, and two of his teammates almost up to double digits. Chal is the one just kind of hanging out for the ride. Merc, Merc's the only one with double digits deaths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not working out for him so well. Notice the difference in deaths between SSG and TSM. Pojo Man, the least to die on his team. Them clutchy plays. That's them clutchy plays indeed. Well, he definitely made an effort last time that missed thrown uh, flash probably didn't help his confidence on that clutch attempt, but he is going to be continuing to ride out that thermite. Castle with a bulletproof camera again here. And that's, that was previously on uh, TSM doing that. Castle's such an important operator on this site, of course. Uh, it's going to allow for Thinking Nade to bandit trick on the wall because Space Station banned Maverick at the beginning of the match. That's obviously what they were counting on. What's funny is you usually have the Zofia to open up the windows on the castle because mm -hmm. there's two of them are external windows. But because there's a sledge and those are external windows, they're just going to be open for free. You see Sledge already doing work on the soft wall. Now he's just going to be able to potentially repel safely if they cover his server side, which I imagine they're going to do. He can repel down even and just hit those windows for free without having to use the same kind of utility you would have to with the Zofia. Yeah, it's not nearly as much of an expenditure. It looks like TSM want to clear out server and cash. Success on server. Cash next. Electroclaw prepped here from Rampy, but you can see it's a tentative hold of the cash room. They don't actually want to deny it as much as they want to use it to delay. This is big. Electroclaw comes out, and it'll get EMP'd. So TSM have managed to open up the wall into cash, which means they know they have control of cash, which means they can open up crossfires into workshop and then start pushing into the site. But you can see the Space Station Gaming have set themselves up in a position where they can actually fight these fights quite effectively. No damage yet, except for onto Pojo as well. So still advantage big time to SSG. Fortunately, couldn't win that fight, though. Oh, and that's going to cost him. Finally, Merc comes alive. Yeah, and he'll take down 
Thinking Nade, a huge player there, and a clutch player at that. Oh, what an angle. <laughs> Achieved narrowly missing those shots. He clutched the last round, though. He gets those. He gets those. That's an acceptable acceptable exchange if you're TSM. Bolo's peeking into sight. He's just looking for some frags. Now we're not able to find them just yet. Oh. oh. One player in office. That's going to be the Jaeger of Bosco behind a, f a hard wall there. He's safe in that position. Someone needs to drone Bolo in here. There's 50 seconds left. It can be done. Someone's got to do it. The aggressive plays from Space Station are putting TSM in a position that is very difficult to win. The gas canisters as well, creating a wall of smoke. You cannot pass. Oh, badly timed push there from Bosco, and his position known. He's got support from Chala, but Fultz goes down to a Firebolt. And now TSM, five versus three. They've got every advantage here, except for time. Pojo Man going for a plant, but he'll get off it. The denial was in there. C4 from Rampy, it missed. Pojo Man goes for another, though. The, boss, or the position there from Bosco given away. Biologic takes down Chala. Here we go. Biologic, or Bi Bosco finally eliminated oh there from Bolo. And it's just Rampy in a one versus five. He'll get one. That's just a down. Three of these players will die to one shot from this TCSG12. But Merc is going to have to be that one player to not. And Bolo will get the final kill there from Workshop. It's GG. It's going to the Raleigh Major for TSM. And SSG just couldn't make it happen in the end. Wow. <laughs> just, just wow. I mean, what else do you say after those attack rounds? Just wow. Just wow. That last one, by the way, that last attack round from TSM was the only one where it actually really looked like TSM were going to take it. That was the only one that looked like a normal real attack. Yeah, the rest of them, miracle attack.